This is gonna be tough. I've trained my body to do things that people like me shouldn't be able to do. But unfortunately for me, flying ain't one of them. Don't follow me. <laughs> Biologist and archaeologist who we feel is going to be an undeniable asset here at Projexus. Won't you please join me in welcoming her to our team? Dr. Sally Rodell. Adopt or die. Secure the area until Alpha Corps can arrive. Solari! Save us! It is the truest law of the Earth. Very few things have the ability to survive the test of time. Though we may not be around to see them to their fullest fruition, what we struggle to create now will be the triumphant echoes from the past. Alpha Corps will be here in five minutes! Hold the line! Five minutes? <laughs> Thanks for the heads up! I was here. I lived. I am still here. I'm on you. <laughs> It is that struggle that is the affliction of creation. I would like to thank Mr. Eusebio for allowing me the opportunity to discover and create alongside my esteemed colleagues at Projectus. Thank you. An archaeologist? It's a bit archaic, isn't it? She's well studied, Jerry, but if you want to question her credentials, be my guest. That's not what I was saying. It's just an unusual area of expertise to pair with biology. Well, Dr. Rodell, from my understanding, is an unusual woman. Don't be threatened, Jerry. She's on our side. Congratulations. <sighs> ah, congratulations. You took that like a chomp. Were you trying to knock me out? No, it was meant to be a death blow. Damn it, Ripa just got back to his chair. I was about to start this thing <laughs> off with a fucking empty chair of him. It was just going to be his empty fucking chair. That's what I was going to do. No, but, uh, I was trying got, to time it He got right back. right as it was in there. I knew, I knew the time, and I was like, right, I, got, I got a little bit. I can make this uh, work real quick. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome into Tuesday night's main event. Uh, man, $1 million in 24 hours. Ripper, how, how what doubt? the fuck is going on? You're, man. Hey, you're welcome. Okay, my Twitter account single handedly <laughs> made it happen. That. Appreciate uh, you did. You made my YouTube as well, so yeah. uh, single handedly responsible uh, for that. So appreciate that. It's been a hell of a 24 hours, man. Dude, so. it's been nuts, man. Uh, the magnitude of this for us has has been kind of crazy. You know, we went into it knowing that it was going to be successful, didn't know how successful. Um, and yeah, it, it was the First one, I mean, it technically was a day. I guess you can say that for ISOM number one, but it was 30 hours, really, so a little over 24 hours. And, you know, this one hit it at 24 hours. It hit a million. So it's pretty pretty crazy to see that play out, to see the enthusiasm for comics just in general. Um, the live action was, you know, fun. We just released actually behind the scenes, like right before uh, everything went live. So if you guys want to check that out, you can just to get some insight on kind of what we went into, what our, what our mindset was, how fun it was for the people that were 
on set. It was just a day shoot, um, something that we wanted to make that was that could promote the comic. That was a uh, uh, you know cost effective, and you know I, I'm I'm really pleased with just how everything uh, went. And I'm, I'm glad that the fans are loving and being able to see kind of w- what our capabilities are. But this book has been massive, man, and I can't wait to get it in people's hands oh, yeah. later. But it's just it's been awesome, a man. massive experience. You you got to clear some confusion for me, all right? Because mm-hmm. I mean I. I heard that no, we were not allowed to criticize you, and I criticized the trailer a little bit today on daily. I haven't got a call from you. You have your mm-hmm. attorneys haven't like sent any like you know <clears throat> any information over. Like mm-hmm. wow, how is that? It's man, can you believe yeah, that? It's funny how that how, funny wild. how that works. Almost like this false narrative. <laughs> or or almost. Uh, well, I just want you to know that on daily. Uh, someone in the chat called you the new black Walt Disney, and I <laughs> co-signed that. Bro, y'all, 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 y'all say these. Give me, keep giving me these new names, and y'all just send people into a fucking frenzy. They, they hear that, and they're gonna be real mad. As much as they are with black. Stanley. When's the theme park coming? Let me help yeah. you design the theme park. I'll be, I'll be there. I'll oh take 10 man, but I, I man, it's, it, I'm super, super proud of you guys, man. Appreciate it's, it, man. it's amazing, and. Uh, one of my favorite content creators just tweeted out this right here. Tim Cast News, Tim Pool, oh, covering yeah. uh, the one million dollars. So Tim Cast is covering. That. That's really cool. Wow, appreciate that. That's uh, cool. So appreciate that's awesome. God. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. that. Good. And I know we at Geeks and Gamers, uh, you know, on our website, Alex been doing a great job keeping everybody yes. updated on. Oh yeah, that. shout out to him, man. He's been doing good stuff. I hope so. Tim Pool tweets out the uh, Ripa send people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to be putting a lot of energy behind that for those projects as well. So it's going to be fun. Not oh, even worried, bro. Not even. I, just, I just know the Yaira statue needs to happen. I need <laughs> yes. that right back here with my Lara Crofts. Like, I, oh, I have to have it. I'm okay. game. Yeah, yeah at, at two million. If we hit two million. All right, uh, let's yeah. go to a million chat. Will, will you will promise it, you a legitimate statue? And did you guys okay. notice, like, you know how Hollywood is always so bad at casting actresses for the strong buff women? And you're the who you guys casted for Yaira was perfect. Yeah, it's like awesome. you've done what what Hollywood can't do for some reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and I think and shout out to you because you know that for sure proves that you you know you know who the character is and you know if people that have suddenly read our cards, you see how athletic and um just all around jacked that um Yaira is big big mm-hmm. woman, right? So you know, we were going through our castings and I was looking at who who as soon as I saw Morgan, that's the name Morgan Boot, shout out to her. I was like yeah, that's 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 our that's our lady. She jack and she's tall as fuck, taller than me. She's six three. She's wow. fucking massive. So yeah, it was um with all of them, we tried to land them as much as we realistically could. Again, like just just understanding kind of this was so it, it acts more as a commercial, right? So mm-hmm. you know, we got budgets and, and, and all that that we're we're sticking to and they're very, very strict and we're not trying to break the bank uh on something like that so um and we knew it was only going to be a day shoot because of that so we would you know we had to line up with people's timeline so it was uh who was available to us all of that was and you know we landed it we feel like we nailed it on just oh. who all those characters are especially with yaira being morgan yeah she, all right so yeah. i gotta ask this quick. question because there was a debate going on uh, the person who played I- Isom, that's Brandon, right? We all know that's Brandon. No, it, w- it, w- it wasn't Brandon. It was you not. can tell us now, man. It, I'm gonna text not, him right no, now. It's, it, like, it's not. His name's Marshall. Uh, he talks. <laughs> he does talk in the behind the scenes. Uh, you can um, be, hear him. He's uh, does a lot. He's done some like stunt stuff for uh, it's Elbow as well. He's uh, he's been around yeah. the block. Cool. Uh, but yeah, he he did Isom. He also he did his own stunt, obviously, and falling on a car that was his. You know, really, why I was there, and that was all him. And man, he, he took that like a champ because I was looking at that, I was stressing out. I'm like, God damn, I'm Those the executive. Dudes are crazy. This is my yeah. fucking set. So yeah. if some fuck fucking yep. happens, that's on my head. So I'm like, please let everything go right. And you know, we only it was the car, so we only had one shot at it. Right, that's it. Like that, that, that was it. We only had one take uh, to to get that scene, and yeah, we nailed it. We, we absolutely nailed it. I was just hoping, oh, yeah. like, he didn't admit that, like, the, the crane that he dropped him, he didn't fucking miss. I was hoping all that. <laughs> like, so he gra- I was just, I was stressed, man. It was cool to see him set up. They did it. We did a trial run on, like, a bunch of boxes uh, where the car was going to be first. And then, because uh, we only knew we had one shot, we we gave it a gave it a shot, and he, we absolutely nailed it. So shout out to, you know, stunt folks are 
crazy but it's a i learned so fucking much during this man and already kicking out ideas of uh uh to to make everything better and, and improve when we like actually look it would go a little different obviously if we're trying to like shoot a short film right it wouldn't mm -hmm. like this is to promote the comic but we, yep. you know it go it go a different route but just seeing how much work goes into just that for example right and uh, the, the few folks that are involved in just dropping a, a son of a bitch on a car so much man so much goes into that and i, I really admire and, and respect uh stunt folks and, and what it is they do because that shit's a craft man yeah well it, 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 look you you have the blessing and the curse of uh having you know your camp your first campaign exploded you know shattered records and, mm -hmm. and now like every move you make everything you do you're under a microscope and that's okay fair game that it's fair I'm, game I'm okay that's part that. of it part of it so a, a, everything like you know uh hell uh everybody knows i maybe i don't know it might be a secret i haven't really talked about it much i'm a big christopher nolan fan i don't know if i've ever talked about that no yeah yeah just no yeah. not you I, I can't picture fan. you as yeah. a christopher nolan yeah man. i know i know uh <laughs> but uh it, yeah but if you go back watching watch the watch following his first movie you know what i mean and it's like it's jarring it's i, I wouldn't say it's bad as much as it's just not very entertaining it's just a his first movie you know what i mean a very low budget uh unknown people uh you you could probably see elements of what he will become uh in that but you're like you're not going to watch the following or following and be like this is going to be the greatest filmmaker of our lifetime it's like yeah you're gonna see you're like okay pretty cool small film so yeah. uh yeah it, but you're you're judged on on that but uh regardless of any of that four campaigns all hitting a million is retarded on yeah. any level dude that's just it stupid it is there ain't no there ain't there's no way you can spin it you know people can say whatever they want in terms of like things like that but it, four campaigns hitting a million that's unprecedented that's not fail, supposed to happen you can fail tomorrow and you've already won like oh yeah you know oh, what yeah, i mean yeah. like oh yeah that look man this is I, i've i figured i've i've made it in a aspect of my life for yeah. sure one one thousand percent because this that's not supposed to happen. Um, we're not even, I think this is crazy to think about. We're not even two years old yet. We have not hit yeah. the two year mark, which is crazy to think about. So we've done mm -hmm. all of this in a year and a half, a little over a year and a half. And for us to be able to have four back to back to back to back a million dollar campaigns is, it's not supposed to happen, man. That's and I'm true. Just, two years. Like, and I, and I tell this to people and to be like, uh, I'll talk to people about starting YouTube channels and they're like, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? I'm like, bro, I can't even go back and watch my early videos because they're <laughs> oh, fucking God, bad. See? See? You know what I mean? Like they're <laughs> bad. Like you get better as time goes on. But if mm -hmm. you so like you guys are two years old, imagine what you're gonna look like in you know five, six, seven, eight years. It's and, that, and that's what all aspects. I mean, we were like we, we started this, a guy with an idea, some money, gave it a shot, and now here we are. So two years from now. You know the capabilities out. Everything's just improved within the company, from shipping to the 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 customer experience. Uh, it's it's hell. Even from animation to animation, like the Alpha mm -hmm. Core animation versus Isom's uh, uh, one, uh two, excuse me, uh, animation. It's just always a, a bigger and, and better improvement. You know, you learn more, and it's that to me is the fun part of it all. Because like a almost like a puzzle, right? You're trying to put together um, here and it's to, to, to be able to be in this position is a blessing. It's not supposed to happen. I'm very aware of that. And I want other people to understand that definitely as we do rip of sin, we do other rip reverse projects. This shit is not normal. Like that's not supposed to happen. People just making million million dollars on a project. I know people look at it like it's off floor, but that's not realistic. Um, it, it and doesn't mean that you're not successful if you make less than that. You know what I mean? You can make oh, fucking sure. a, a tenth of that and, and be wildly successful, especially uh, with this genre. So it's um, it, it's a blessing for sure, and I, and I appreciate the position that we're in. 100%, 100%. Well, congratulations, man. Uh, yep. And the last thing on that, and then we're going to move on to maybe introduce Drunk 3PO. We'll see. But I, I did okay. think this tweet kind of summed it up for me. Um, this is great. Uh, the Ripiverse is where the fun and innovation is happening. Record breaking, uh, industry legends, writing and doing art, new magazine, great merch, fun trailers to build up the hype, and changing the indie fulfillment game with Ripus in the future is bright. That puts it in perspective right Shut there, out, man. Damn, like, that's man. fucking cool, man. Um, yeah. And I, I really liked that. I thought that was really cool. Um, and 
it's it's awesome to see. I'll never I, I had that phone call with you the night before you launched ISOM. And you know, I, I knew what your expectations were. I'm like, dude, you're gonna you're gonna beat that. <laughs> I didn't know if you would beat it. I was trying to talk a friend of like hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I, I, I remember those conversations, man. It, it was, and it's so much changed in such a short period of time. And you know, I, I brought this up in our behind the scenes, like still trying to catch up to that demand, right? Um, is 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 what we spent the better part of a year and a half with with the expanding on the warehouse, which looks like we're going to about to expand that again. Um, it, it, with all the stuff that we're doing with the animation stuff, we do want to jump into like the toy and statue. And there's been some conversations being had there. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, you 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 want to hit that two million dollar mark? I say that, but I'm not gonna tell you <gasps> tell you the conversations that that have been had. But yeah, it, it, let's just say if the, you unlock the statue and we ended up actually putting that thing out for pre order, it's gonna blow your minds. But that mm -hmm. has been fun. I've been talking to other people in various parts of uh, the entertainment sector, right? And it's just, I've, I've learned so much. I've been humbled, for sure, uh, in the experience, by the way, because, you know, you have an idea, and Mike can probably feel me on this as well. It's one thing to think you know how some shit goes down, and then when you have to actually do it, you know what I mean? Or you have to uh, uh, try to uh, build a plan to get something done. That's a different animal, man. And uh, it's it, it, it's There's, for sure different. There yeah. are so many moving parts and making anything behind a the camera. There are so many people doing so many different things. And like the reality is that's why we talked about that. It move all movies are hard work, all of them, even shitty indie projects. You yeah. know, uh -oh. like, you know, does that mean that, we can't criticize them now, Mike? We can never there's a there's always a floor that you have to reach to be able to do stuff stunt work is fucking hard shout out yeah. to tim Connolly, who's our who's our stunt guy uh worked with beardo and 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 stuff we were just doing a fight scene and the mechanics that go behind that it's all crazy. the stuff that you have to do and make sure that people are safe and all that stuff and and to do some of the stuff and some of the gadgets and gizmos they got that they use to like pull stunts off and it's all crazy stuff and it's really hard work and that's the thing like when you when you jump into the driver's seat of something like that and you go okay all right we're gonna do this and then they go well what about this this and this? Yeah. like what the fuck is that that was the like, first thing like well again I, i'm, I'm bare i'm on set for example uh and like we got to consider i'm like hey okay we got an idea to do that well we have to also do this 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 and that if that's gonna happen like even just like a car for example him dropping like you want the windows yep. to blow out and shit and that's yep. basically fucking dynamite in a bitch like to yep. make that to make something like that happen because again we wanted to we didn't want to use you know obviously considering budgets practical effects are more a little more difficult to do but they're also yeah. cheaper right so yes we only had that one shot but it's just so much that goes into that keeping it safe to your point um like i said i've been humble with the entire fucking fucking experience the entire experience man it's been, yeah. been humble because it's a, it, it is a lot of work that goes into that yeah it does and and and, and it's hard stuff man. <laughs> and the bigger the project is the harder it is yeah um yeah we're not going to introduce drunk 3po so he spelled my name wrong too. So yeah, he did. Whatever. yeah I mean, I just yeah, I just want to like yeah, I, we've we've learned a lot. I mean, Beardo can attest, dude. Like doing doing movie shit is hard. Stunt work's hard. All of it's hard. The thing is though, and I really want to commend Ripa for this: doing all that shit in a day is yeah, that whole nigh thing is impossible. Mm -hmm. no, it's hard. That's that's crazy. You got to keep moving. You got to hope everything goes right yeah. because as soon as you fuck something up, it's and like like you said with the car, you get one shot. You don't get that shot. What are you gonna do? Yeah. You know, that's the, you can't reset a car that you just destroyed. Like you know, you also re can't you can't reset the sun. Yeah, you know, that's the true. That's a, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Day, you, gotta, you, you, you are on a schedule. I'm glad yeah. you brought that up. Like on, yeah. all of that is is exactly right. Like because we shot during the day, we shot the obviously these part, parts outside and the projections scene. We shot as the sun was uh what was going down and all that was taken into consideration. Right, we knew that we only had one day. Uh, to do it, so it's like if something fucks up, like that's, that's, it. that's no it. rescheduling. That's it. That's, that, that, that's fucking. That's fucking it. Definitely, when you're dealing with like actors, actors, they got other gigs they got to do. Well, that was that day was all that we had, and um, yeah, and and it's crazy. Uh, it, it also is cool again learning a lot about like ec the economics of it all, like what you can pull off based on uh, 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 what budget. Because you know, to put this into perspective, I was talking about this earlier. That shit costs less than our animation. Right. Yeah. Like a, a lot had to go right to get it that way. But that that costs less than what our animation costs. So it's very 
um, doable to right now. Again, we'd invest a lot more. We do a lot of doing things different. If I'm like, okay, we're going to on Ripperverse.com, we're going to put out like a short film or like we want to do something more episodic or something. It would it would be different because then you you really want to throw your money behind that because you're, that's a product that you're selling. Um, but yeah, like it, it's the, finding the capabilities, learning about how money moves in it. And then I, it makes me even more tripped out about how the fuck these Hollywood budgets are are as big <laughs> as they imploded as they are. Because I'm like, fuck, dude, if I had that money, goddamn, bro, this would be the best mm-hmm. goddamn trailer in the world, man, if I could do that. Yeah. But no, it was fun. It was fun, though. That's, That's awesome. good stuff, man. Well, congratulations. And uh, man, happy to see what, what else you're going to be able to do. It's going to be great. Um, I guess we can introduce Drunk 3PO. Uh, Maybe. They already saw me this morning. Okay, so. well, then fuck you then. All right. Hey, Beard. Oh, no, go ahead. Hi, Jay. <laughs> I did. I mean, how are you gonna how are you gonna top what Ripa said? But uh, <laughs> you know, the, the the cool thing is the honest truth is that I I I think for me personally, I'm ex- I'm very blessed to be surrounded by. I mean, even on this panel, um, people here that are just more than just making YouTube videos, like running a business, making movies, books, things like that, editing, all that stuff. You know, it's just like just watching and learning from everyone and uh you know at the end of the day like a rising tide lifts all ships you know so it's like being a part of something that um i mean whether you like it or not but i'm just saying being a part of something where you could learn and grow and then adapt it into what you're trying to build and things like that it's 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 truly a blessing that that not a lot of people have so just just watching all that yesterday like watching you know the excitement the energy levels i mean it was it was crazy like it it just got me excited for yeah it's true it got me excited <laughs> for um you know just like what everyone's doing like when uh epic verse released that teaser trailer with uh suresh it it was like it was exciting and to see like the energy of everyone just being excited about something that's out there that's somebody that's something created and uh it it's it's very motivating for a lot of people so and i and i think in like the world that we live in where it's just it's just clouded with this like we're going to talk about it with these disgusting things that are out there that are pushing agendas and that are that are just trying to like steal uh what little joy we had left in this entertainment field and people are like well you guys created you guys you guys can have it now we got our own stuff and this is what we're going to do and it's it's an awesome it's an awesome thing. Never in my wildest dreams that I ever thought I would be a part of, you know, um, making a movie or anything like that. And it's just like look look here look at all of us like what we're doing and what we're accomplished. It's 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 very very motivating. And and I and I again like it's 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 awesome to know that I have the you know I'm able to call and just say I have a question. I have this. I have that. I like can you help me? Like I'm doing something wrong here. Jeremy came over to. The, uh, you know, to see me, um, cause he hasn't seen me in a while. And like, you know, we, we were, just, <laughs> I know, but like, <laughs> uh, 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 like before he left wherever, I don't know when it was like last month and like just hearing him talk about, I got an idea about the website. I got about this. I got that. It's just, it's extremely like, um, extremely motivating, you know? And, and it's just like to hear how excited like Jeremy can get because of the things that he, the vision that he has for geeks and gamers, and how what he wants to build here and what he wants to do it's just it's just it's just awesome to be a part of so anyway yeah. that was it yeah. what about these cookies is what i want to know all right that yeah. is pull her back up pull this all right okay she's from australia okay, okay. she's never had a, gr- a girl Oof. scout cookie in her life she doesn't know anything about that so mm. uh you know i can't believe you super chatted on this channel not my channel um, but if you, if you yeah, how getting is. your cookies feel, now, feel free to super chat an apology to him on this channel if you want. Um, Elysia yeah. from Australia, is Good it Elysia or Elysia? They, oh, I said it. Correctly. Australia says everything weird. It's probably Elysia. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Is Australia a real place? It's barely a real place. The only reason Scout it's cookie. real is because it's 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 hyper lethal. It's extremely dangerous there. So like lethal lightning. S- uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly Maza that lives there. That's dangerous, but everything's poisonous. Everybody's miserable, so there must be something going on there. Dangerous. You say animals. cookies and all the chicks show up. You say cookies and all the girls show up. So, uh, what's up, Fear the Beardo? 
Yeah, man. First off, congratulations to the entire Ripiverse crew, Eric, the Saska sisters, and everybody behind the scenes, Brandon and Carolyn. Uh, man, it's really inspiring. And just with this amount of success, every single campaign, over a million dollars, every single one, you're batting a thousand right now. Like that That's is crazy. nuts, unheard of. And literally all of the opportunities that are going to come from this that already have come from this like all the spinoffs like you did the alpha core you got horsemen coming up you just launched the magazine oh, like yeah. uh, 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 everything all of the opportunities that can spring from this that maybe you guys didn't even know were possibilities or have in mind that all of a sudden man the, just the ball starts rolling and it's really inspiring to see and um man just the biggest congratulations to you guys Hell appreciate yeah. that man thank you thank you Dude, man it, it, it's so funny too because like uh it, like i can see where people could you know maybe go like well the first campaign it just it, it was lightning in a bottle you know it picked up so much traction came out of nowhere the marketing was great everything was on point it was like perfect storm four campaigns in you, you don't get the argument that like rip has got five hundred thousand subscribers and that's why he's doing this like as youtubers we don't get I don't get 500,000 views on my videos. He doesn't get five. I don't get 300 and something thousand views on my right. videos. You get 500. Like you might get 20, 10, 10 20 percent of your subscribers is who's going to watch videos unless it picks up in the algorithm. We all know that. Yeah. Um, it's just at the like there are there are YouTubers that get a million views a video that can't get to do what he's doing with this. Like there's something else going on That's there. True. It, it's four campaigns and in. It's insane and to speak to that just a little bit because that, that's a great point it, it's a point that i've entertained before and i think what can be very difficult for a lot of people that that maybe haven't done something that's business related they think that there's always going to be a a um, direct crossover and a conversion or, or and or a conversion in terms of your of a following right mm -hmm. and this is why i think a lot of people get tricked um, trying to chase like algor algorithms for something else yeah. uh, that they want to do because it's like just because you have a lot of views or just because you have a lot of subscribers or a lot of followers does not mean that you have a lot of buyers. Those are different things. Like yeah. someone reaching in their pocket and purchasing a product is a different is a different yeah. animal, right? Um, so it's about like what kind of audience that you're bringing in. Are you bringing in people that actually are into you? For you and they're into you for uh, maybe like a product that is that you're that you're selling. And this is something that, you know, I've, I've been doing this YouTube thing since I was 15, 16 years old. And um, I've built an audience of people that rock with me for me. And, yeah, it might not be the biggest audience in the world, but I, I think what the rip of our shows is that, you know, they'll they'll give give it a shot. And that's on us as, as, as a company to make sure that we're continuing to in, to improve and and put out the best product that we that we realistically can with whatever we we, we put out as far as a book is concerned, but or something that the people pay for. But, you know, they're at least willing to give it a shot because, uh, you know, that's the audience that you cultivate. So uh, don't always think just because, you know, you have the biggest views uh, you, you're going to get. If that were the case, then Keanu Reeves would have fucking destroyed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, our campaign when he did a Kickstarter and. We yeah. about, hell yeah, I was about and, to outsell that one. And, like I, <laughs> and I want to clarify it. Like I said, it, if you just because you have hundreds of thousands of subscribers doesn't mean you're going to get hundreds yeah. of thousands of views unless your name's Gary. Uh, and then exactly. you're, for every subscriber, it's few you have, and he's one, <laughs> yeah, he's one of them. Unless you're Gary, for every subscriber, Gary gets two views. Uh, it could be because it's really good content. I don't know, uh, I guess that has something to do with it. But uh, Melanie Mac in the house, what's up, Melanie? Hey, uh, I definitely want to echo everybody and just say how inspiring the Yaira campaign has been, and just seeing just our friends do big, amazing, awesome things. And I, I remember just the first ISOM campaign and that it broke 3 million. I was telling my mom about it and I was getting teary eyed. <laughs> I, was teary -eyed I was just like, wow, like one of us was able <laughs> to go do something like that. It's just so inspiring. So awesome. I love that. Love to see Yaira getting the recognition she deserves. And I, I, I'm really, really hoping that that 2 million mark <laughs> is broken broken because I, I need that I need to buy one of those statues <laughs> I got you I got you <laughs> that's awesome uh I and yeah I mean it's oh, sorry I was gonna do it. so Lost Tale says uh, Jay are you okay you look so serious and focused what are you <laughs> looking at and Hypnotic says 
titties, the lost tales. Always titties. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Did a picture of uh, Sydney Sweeney go pop on your your computer, and you're just like, no. <laughs> Shout out to no, him. I'm just his channel's, man. His like, channel's doing I, good. Yeah, he's doing I, well, I, man. Yeah, yeah, his channel's doing really good. Hell yeah. Yeah, so happy to see that. Happy to see that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not happy to see Epic Mike here. Oh, but shut the I, fuck up. Neither is Steph. Man. Just be happy yeah. about the fact that Nolan got some Oscars, okay? He finally <laughs> fucking <laughs> took all this time, you know, um, in, in a movie that is is a good movie, but probably not his best movie. Um, I but agree. Yeah. That is definitely not his best movie. And it it's wasn't the best, best movie, movie. And it wasn't the best movie of last year. Godzilla Minus One was the best movie of last yeah. year. It yeah, was. But it, it was. was it was phenomenally sure. done, and yeah. done on what? A hundred million dollars, all practical effects. What's yeah, that? So. Talking about, talking about uh, Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer. Yeah, Oppenheimer. Yeah. Oppenheimer, all, fantastic. But all yeah. practical effects, one hundred million dollars, and here you got Marvel spending four hundred million dollars to, <laughs> to, to dig Harrison Ford out of his grave and force him to do another movie. Um, but yeah, did man. You hear, uh, did you hear Nolan's haul from from Oppenheimer today? They reported he made a hundred million dollars from Oppenheimer. He pocketed a yeah, hundred million. Yeah. It's because it's because his he's got it built into his contract now. Like it, he gets a percentage of the box office returns, oh, and he I got a bonus it. for the for I the Oscar. It. So he made a hundred million dollars personally yeah. off of Oppenheimer. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Well, that's insane. I mean, it, you know, it may not be a hundred million dollars, but a million is still a lot of fucking money. Yes, it and is. Do it, do it, do it back to back to back, to back undefeated to back. To back. <laughs> undefeated. Right undefeated. That's the thing. Here's, here's the thing, like, for every person that says, like, well, you know, uh, the first campaign was a fluke, that was a mistake, yeah, but, like, how do you how do you trick that many people yeah. four times? <laughs> at some point, at some point, he's either got some kind of superpower he's not telling us about, or people like his fucking product. That's, a, that's a, what's the, there's got to be a conspiracy, right? But my thing is, if he was lying, then he could just say, I made $5 million every campaign. Don't fucking talk to me. But yeah. you know, and, and it really showed when we were at Megacon at the Ripiverse panel, when Come on. you did, when, when you did open conversation and Q and a, how many in-depth lore questions people oh, were asking, man. what yep. did this mean? What's going on? Like, like what was, and you wanted to answer certain questions, but yep. you have, you have the roadmap, you have the plans like, well, we can't talk about yep. that right now. Cause yeah. we have, a, we have an idea for that. You, you yeah. saw it live in person. Yeah, that, that's true. You know, you got had guy asking about like what like the, the the little ankle bracelet or monitor. That was that Biggles. Had. Shout out uh, to yeah, Biggles. That was yeah, his uh, that was yeah. What's Biggles' message? Yeah, yeah. Asking about that. So yeah, these for I mean they seem to be very knowledgeable for people that just don't read the book. Apparently, uh, they they seem to know everything that's happening in it. But no, that that's Metacon was I think man, Jeremy, we've talked about this. It really brought things down to earth and and, and or into perspective be more yep. accurate that's what that did yeah absolutely absolutely massive fucking lines couldn't couldn't and, move couldn't well, walk no. on that point I, and i haven't even i'm i want to give benny johnson a shout out i know we put an article on the website but he he was at megacon and yep. and he he featured us in his video which is freaking awesome the proper enormity of the event can only be seen in a place like this where you are just wall to wall shoulder to shoulder in every direction superheroes comic book characters people of cultural import or relevance uh, everywhere. We're going to the Geeks and Gamers panel to see and stay incredibly based. This was our first comic convention, so I didn't know what to expect when we walked into the Geeks and Gamers breakout session at Megacon. Look at this packed room, wall to wall, people standing, room only. Some of our favorite creators on the internet. Hey, let's me. <laughs> Eric July, RK Outpost, Ryan Kennel, and Jeremy, the founder of Geeks and Gamers. What a kick ass crew. It was an honor to be invited. And, well, I was never expecting this. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Hey, that's me! <laughs> Brandon over there. <laughs> this is MagaCon, right? It's MagaCon, I believe that's how it's pronounced. It is now, listen, I made sure when I saw you guys walk in, I'm like, I see Benny sneak in there. I'm gonna give him a massive shout out, and the crowd's gonna go nuts for him. And it went perfectly. It could not have gone better.
you so awesome dude so guys, uh go uh you if, i'm sure mods are in the chat but if you can drop this link from uh, benny's channel please go check it out give him some love over there benny is out, a benny. massively important figure in all of this because he is at the top of you know the political world and in the youtube sphere and he is really focused on, he like he wants to try to learn more about the entertainment and the nerd sphere and all of that so we really do appreciate him man uh um, well and, so and you gotta you gotta respect people that want to actually learn about the community instead of just co-op it or be like yep. well mm -hmm. cool you know we'll we'll try to figure out how to get involved or you know yeah i don't know i don't know anything about this nerd stuff but you know i just want to be around it because i can you know elevate my own brand because of it man like it's <laughs> It's important to actually learn stuff. So, oh yeah, man, it was really awesome, uh, and I'm, I'm really uh, appreciate Benny, and and then of course you you bring you you bring so you got the whole Ripperverse stuff. Then you've got uh, Benny, you know, putting you know focus on you know our con stuff. And then you've got Drinker and Gary on Piers Morgan. What yeah. the hell is happening yeah. right now, man? This is wild yeah. stuff. Uh, <laughs> what's up, my nerdy home? Hi, Steph. Hi, everyone. Uh, congratulations to Ripa. Hell yeah. I can't wait for that statue. I know we're going to get it. We're going to get that <laughs> Yaira statue. All right. I'm going to be the first one to put in my order for it. Uh, we're also live on Locals. So if you're a local supporter, come and hang out with me. In Let's the go. Room. Oh, yeah. Good out. to see you, Steph. And Krista is backstage. So if you guys want to say hello to Krista, you can go do that. Um, okay, so we got this. We got a lot to talk about. And I have talked about this many times in terms of like I get uh, back in the day, like when the last Jedi stuff started to take off and everything. I, I had a lot of like uh, media and other YouTubers saying I was part of Gamergate. And then Gamergate people were getting involved with the Star Wars fandom and all of that. I I had nothing to do with Gamergate. I didn't I didn't know anything about Gamergate. Um, but obviously, I've done a little bit of kind of research on it over the years. But it it is definitely like what we're seeing right now, and being in an election year, I think we're one hundred percent heading right for that. So this is an article from twenty seventeen, and it says Gamergate to Trump: How Video Game Culture Blew Everything Up. What began as a backlash to a debate about how video games portray women led to an internet culture that ultimately helped sweep Donald Trump into office. None of that is true. By the way, none of that is true. <laughs> that is not what Gamergate was. Um, and and I love that they. I thought it was Russian bots. Uh, I thought it was Russian bots. Well, wait, no, it's the gamers. The gamers. It's the gamers. That, yeah. Like it, it's so stupid. Donald Trump has made ir idiotic statements on video games. Like idiotic statements. Yeah. The statements that I've called him out for, but yeah. but but gamer ga the gamers are what got Trump in. Trump's in there playing Call of Duty, calling people gamer words. I guess none of that happened. Um, it's so stupid. Uh, Trump knows nothing about video games. All right, he don't know a damn thing about video well, games. He's total boomer when it comes to that shit. Uh, but go ahead. Too is well, I was gonna say the other thing too is if you think gamers have this much power and this mm -hmm. much ability to fucking sweep an election because they <laughs> decided they got mad at some fucking video games journalist. Like, why would you not cater to that audience? Why would right. you assume that, <laughs> yeah, let's take a shit on these guys because that's going to go really fucking well for us. Like, for sure. that You know, they got so fired up that they completely, like, swept an election and brought a you know guy into power that, that the leftists all hate. And your idea is to then go after those people and talk shit about those people? Like, what the fuck are you thinking? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it yeah. makes no sense whatsoever. But yeah. the, but this is this is an election year. It is 2024. Obviously, it's going to be a very, uh, you know, crazy year from all different perspectives. And with this Sweet Baby Ink story getting all of this traction, uh, a, a young man, many of you may have heard of him, I don't know, um, relatively unknown figure, um, a guy named Elon Musk. Uh, mm, you know, never heard he, of him uh, before. So, yeah, he tweeted, he retweeted this video with the quartering, uh, and it was uh, a quarterings interview. We'll talk about it here in just a minute, but I just quote tweeted, said, Sweet Baby Ink story isn't going away. Great job to everyone that has been covering it. Now Elon Musk is aware. Uh, hold the line, gamers. So right here is Elon's retweet. And, you know, 3.2 million views on this video right here, and it's only going to, you know, get more and more traction. But right here... Yeah. 
is uh, it's not that hang on, I'm trying to mute that. Right here is the video that we're talking about. And this was an interview with Crumbs uh, Cabrutus, who was the guy that started the uh, Steam group that's created so much uh, alt right harassment, apparently. Alt right harassment by taking the games that Sweet Baby Inc. works on and saying, here's the games that Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on. And <laughs> has meant an alt right hate campaign against Sweet Baby Inc. Um, so. Before we get into the video, I know, like, you know, Melanie, you've been covering it. I know mm -hmm. you've been covering it, Ripa. Jay, you haven't been, like, have you been talking about this much? No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Um, so, Epic Mike, what do you know about Gamergate? Um, so, apparently, this all got started because uh, some chick was like, I want to get into video games. And she made a shitty video game, and she goes, oh, man. How do I make people like this game? And how do I make people think that I did a really good job? Well, maybe I'll have sex with a guy that talks about video games, and maybe that'll make my career take off. Uh, her career did not take off. The game was bad. People <laughs> said it was bad. And then her ex-boyfriend was like, hey, um, all those accusations about her sleeping with this games journalist? Um, yeah, it's be true. Zoe Quinn. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this Zoe is Quinn. true because... Chat, uh, chat's mentioning it, but this is Zoe Quinn. Zoe the, Quinn, the, the, yeah. the infamous Zoe Quinn. Yeah, the her boy ex boyfriend said, yeah, she did this with five other guys too, and people they Damn. thought they were being really smart, and going, well, he didn't actually do a review, he did not do a, a specific review, but he did in social media and all that stuff. He did talk about that game, he did boost that game, he talked about Zoe being a good game developer and all that stuff. So she may not have gotten a review out of it because she probably wasn't very good, um, <laughs> but she was good enough to get him to talk about her game. And this started a whole thing where the gamers, because internet people are most are smarter than a lot of these journalists, mm -hmm. they started doing investigation into into reviews and game reviews and who was doing these reviews and what publications were doing them. And they started noticing a weird pattern. They started noticing a lot of these review games journalists and game reviewers were saying a lot of the same things, having a lot of the same points in the reviews, having a lot of the same points and other things. And they all kind of noticed that a lot of these guys network with each other and, and talk to each other and work with each other and um yeah that's a yes. whole nother mess yeah it's a whole, whole yes i remember to... when that mm -hmm. happened yeah. just yeah. i was at the time when gamergate first went down um i was just busy with my own stuff to really get what was going on but i do remember when alec uh unalived himself after zoe quinn started making some false accusations against him about some essay stuff and a yeah, tried to cancel him and he yeah. ended up unaliving himself over it. And I just remember at the time, like that's th that specifically really woke me up to a lot of uh, just how terrible a lot of the people in the gaming industry, especially the journalist side are and how they will throw people under the bus. They'll try to cancel people yep. for any amount of clout. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and, uh, and this is it's yeah. a, this is a completely different topic. So maybe we'll talk about it later. I don't know. Uh, you could proceed with caution, but look at there's some crazy shit going on in the Minecraft community right now. I don't oh, know if you really? guys are seeing that shit. Yeah. Holy shit! There's like some big Minecraft YouTuber named George. He's like he's hangs out with Dream and all those guys, and he's been uh -huh. accused of something. <gasps> and and then he made a statement. Then he made a contradictory statement. I've seen it all over my timeline. There's other like it's wild. I I, I don't know the Minecraft world, but it's wild. But anyway, back wow. to you, Mike. It's yeah. it's crazy. No, no, yeah. So you know the they started kind of uncovering. Yes. Don't play right. Minecraft, bro. <laughs> hold on, real quick. The That's Minecraft the moral of the story. Don't play the Mi Minecraft. Minecraft gaming community is massive. Oh my like, god, it's insane, bro. It's they insane. pull in ridiculous numbers, a lot of money. They just yeah, build it's stuff kind of with blocks. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it has a dude. It's Bro, crazy. It has a huge community of people in it, and it's now, dude. There was like Dream did like a, a Twitter Spaces and started in front of like tens of thousands of people. Started yeah. crying. To, this was like today. Yeah, <laughs> he was crying. He's like, I love my friend George. He did. It's it's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. It's oh, really he took his mask off. He got roasted. To <laughs> yeah, he did, back, yeah, dude. They're like, put that thing back on. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> kind of unrelated. You know that one IRL streamer, Jack Daughtry, Jack Jack Doherty, whatever. Doherty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack yeah, Doherty. Yeah. You yeah. see the video? He got socked in the face when his security guard wasn't around. Yeah, he got punched yeah. in the face, and then he started yeah. crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Good, funny, dude. <laughs> Good. Fuck him. Yikes. Uh, but yeah, we yes. might we might talk about the Minecraft shit later. I got. 
some videos pulled up. It's wild. This Minecraft is, gets wild, bro. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead, Mike. But yeah, so uh, they start digging up this stuff about the community and the game game journalists and game reviewers, and uh, this that's where um, the second villain in our story really steps into play, Anita Sarkeesian, who we all kind of know of, mm -hmm. who then you know had already been like, oh, gaming is so sexist and misogynistic. And uh, her and Zoe and a bunch of other uh, games journalists um, stepped in and started talking about how, you know what, ever since this started, we've been getting death threats and we've been getting doxxed and been, and been threatened and, and gaming is so toxic and it's just full of um, misogynistic people that are just trying to destroy our lives and toxic trolls everywhere and blah, blah, blah. And um, because they have the ability, a platform to complain and bitch about this stuff, they started telling all their friends in journalists, journalism and all of these newspaper publications and multimedia publications, hey, we're being attacked because we just want gaming to be better and a safer space for women and, and minorities and representation and all this shit. And it turned into a whole big thing where the media got a hold of it and tried to spin it towards, yep, see, you know what? It's a bunch of these toxic men in gaming and stuff that are trying to destroy people, trying to destroy people's lives. Gaming needs to change. It can't be this way anymore. And Gamergate actually was started by a bunch of people on 4chan, which everybody knows don't fuck with 4chan, but they did anyways. <laughs> um, and basically we're saying, yo, we're uncovering a lot of crazy corruption. Never was that ever talked about in any of these media publications, anything. They, they, they completely swept all the stuff with Zoe and all of these journalists working together and lying about games and getting paid to review games and getting paid to give, you know, independent developers good re certain good reviews and bury other developers. They got they found out that they were giving bad scores to certain games they didn't want to succeed or do well because those people weren't you know, adhering to their social standards, social norms. Maybe you didn't vote for the right person. Maybe they looked at your Twitter and you said something pro Trump and they would try to bury your games and all of that gets buried in favor of they're being mean to women. What can we do about this? And that's kind of the general idea of what was happening with Gamergate. And now Gamergate is kind of been taken over as this like horrible thing that happened in gaming that ruined a culture and then sparked the, the amazing, wonderful term alt-right. And then eventually got Donald Trump in the white house. Um, good but, job. <laughs> good job. Yeah. Man. I'm Shout like, out to us, man. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Holy smokes. Once again, if you think that, that if, if you think gamers have that much power, it's a sophisticated that, ass plan, by the way. Yeah. And they're that dangerous. Then maybe the attitude of saying that they're a bunch of toxic man <laughs> babies that live in their basement isn't the smartest move. If they're capable right. of doxing your shit and putting you on blast and letting everybody know. And here's the thing. Not one person has ever been attacked not one person all these right. all these all these threats and all these supposed death threats and everything like that none of it has been substantiated into anything major like there's been no there's no arrest nothing and it's like now the 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 controversy and the conversation has been and, and there's a lot of it that they think that a lot of these things were faked because now right. we're also learning they have a lot of bot farms. They have a lot of fake accounts and stuff. Mm -hmm. They just go log into one of them and send a death threat all they want and be like, look, oh, yeah. what, I, look what happened to me. You know, we saw the same thing in the entertainment industry with uh, the chick that played uh, Reva. She's like, oh, I got I got death threats and racist <laughs> remarks. And they showed three screenshots, one of which was a black dude saying, you ain't the only nigga in Star Wars. Yeah. And like, wow, <laughs> how, how, how awful, how racist and terrible was that for a black guy to say that to you? <laughs> it even, like it's just crazy to me but but the the at the end of the day it exposes something that we've all been dealing with and now sweet baby ink is a is another example of the fact that gaming has been taken over the 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 mm -hmm. The gaming sphere and specifically journalism and reviewing and stuff like that has been taken over by people that yep. do not want um don't care about gaming. They don't care about any of that stuff. They just want their shit to make a bunch of money. They want mm -hmm. people to not make waves. They want you to just fall in line, buy whatever the narrative is is currently going on. And they want to take over every aspect of gaming and yep. control it so that it represents what they think the world should look like. It's why you have, you know, video games like Spider-Man 2 um, <laughs> giving you missions where you have to, like, you know, help spray paint some stuff with the deaf girl or mm -hmm. help two gay guys go to prom together, like in stuff. And none of those things inherently are like bad 
if the game calls for it, if that's what the storyline is, but nobody's going to play those games if all it is is you walk around of with a superhero it, help. It, it's yeah. out of pocket. It, it doesn't have any place in that kind of game. Yeah, it has nothing to do with Spider-Man. But but they know that if they put this in the games and they interject it, they can say, hey, look at what we did. We also know it's never enough for these people. That th yeah. That's not their end game. Their end game will be to you know completely remove Peter Parker. They've already admitted they don't like cis white males. They think that they're the worst part of video what? games. They're the worst part about of what entertainment. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it, so I just think that, it, you know, as we've <laughs> talked about it, you know, they're, they're decrying that this sweet baby thing is Gamergate 2. And isn't it convenient that all of this stuff comes out right around the same time as an election where certain somebody that we supposedly put in the power is also running again? And um, this video, which we have confirmed this person, um, or, or is, I think uh, Mark had a Mark, Mark uh, Kern basically said like he confirmed this person uh, either was or is connected to Sweet Baby Inc. Have you guys heard this video yet? No. Uh, listen um, to this one. It's oh. lovely. Listen to this one. Oh, it's yeah, it's lovely. All right, here we go. I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. <laughs> I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, and I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. Yeah, it is. That's why you keep repeating it. <laughs> yes. Don't for worry. Real. That's exactly what the it's, fuck you're saying. It's the just fuck? like when Brie Larson's like, am I saying I hate white dudes? No. <laughs> but, but I hate white dudes, basically. Yes. <laughs> like that's just, oh. and sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they <laughs> think that something made it okay, but it was really a microaggression. No, it's all right. Could <laughs> you? Oh, I hate that word, Could microaggression. Could you imagine if this here. was the oh. other way around, bro? I know. Based Go ahead, on, it's, So this is hell from here. So <laughs> she's saying that, okay, she knows that she's saying white people create an unsafe environment. She then says that I'm not saying that white people are, <laughs> are not creating unsafe or are creating unsafe environments. And then she follows that up by explaining how white people basically create unsafe environments. But uh, she so, said three, like, that was, what, what are we fucking 45 seconds into this damn yeah. video? And she's contradicted herself three fucking times back to back it, to back. That's impressive. It's unbelievable. And again, here's here's Mark Curran. Of course, she worked for Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, just verified it with Google search. The ride never ends. So it. So yeah. So she. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, I, this is this is insane, man. Um, I, the, I can't. The good thing is, it's like I mean, if there is a good thing, it's like uh, can an account like lives of TikTok is sharing this stuff. Yes. And Elon yeah. Musk is sharing this stuff, and they're just like, what the heck is going on in the game? Even though. You know, you guys have been calling this stuff out for years. It's like well, they finally, I've, I've, it's I've starting to, to creep in, yes, you know? I've talked about this for, for uh, a while on Cobra Cast uh, in terms of, like, a lot of the political stuff. But, like, now, like, if you look back, like, and I, for, for me, in terms of, like, I'm not really the type, that, a guy that kind of gets down or depressed or whatever. It's just not who I am. But if we're talking about a low point for, for me, it was it was 2020 when uh, when they banned Trump off of all social media. And really, that wasn't about Trump as much as I mean, obviously, I'm a fan of Trump. But it's like, how the fuck can if they can ban the sitting president of the United yeah. States of America? What chance do any of us have? <laughs> you know what I mean? That was the point where I'm like, we are living in a scary, scary world. Mm -hmm. But but that was back then. And it, it, you saw that. And then obviously everything else that we're doing. Look at where we are now after Elon Musk purchased Twitter. Now, again, I got my problems with Elon's Twitter at times. I've got some criticisms. He has fundamentally changed everything because of that. Now, it, it, you got Rumble doing cool stuff. I mean, Rumble's mm -hmm. trying to buy TikTok right now. Um, that's happening. They got their own cloud service. Uh, so if Rumble a, buys so, TikTok, I think, I think I'll the be cloud so service is bigger than fucking everything. I'm, yes, I'm gonna be completely yes. honest. That's yeah, the biggest yeah. fucking thing that they've done. Yeah, but if they got TikTok to put on that, wow. Like, if I, I, said, I, I will tell you this right now, like, and people try to minimize this. I've been on this bandwagon for a long time talking about this shit. TikTok is one of the most dangerous apps that exists, like, mm -hmm. right now in this sphere. It is more, it is, 
crazy aggressive the algorithms are nuts and these people that are on there are building small pockets of like these very radicalized like ideas and concepts and people don't realize like they're not going after adults in this they're going after kids mm. and and you don't even realize how quickly like a kid could watch one video will pop up about i don't know um getting a mastectomy and why it's the best thing in the world next thing you know that's all they ever will see on tiktok and it and there is a proven like effect that that app specifically has on people the way that it affects kids brains the way that it affects how they consume things how their attitudes are and everything um so yeah getting tiktok bought out so they can get rid of that fucking aggressive algorithm like that would be massive because i'm telling you right now dude hmm. like that that shit poses a huge danger i won't let my fucking kids have it i, I don't think kids, be kids on are using there tiktok like google now yeah. they well, use it yeah, like google they well, yeah they like, use it like, like google they don't google stuff anymore but, they, but you just they search yeah. for stuff on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Mike, you just said it though. You just said the magic word. You are a parent. The yeah. problem isn't TikTok. The problem is the parenting. Yeah. True. Like, yeah. I mean, because I, because this whole bill, and, and I got a, a little bit of kickback on Cobra Cast the night. I was like, I don't support banning, I don't support our government banning any app uh, like they're doing TikTok because that just sets a I precedent. Agree. That well, that's specifically in Thomas Massey. And I hate to get political. I, no, I fuck just it. save this shit for Blaze. Yeah. But yeah. you know, like Thomas Massey uh, was going through this for those who don't know, Libertarian Congressman, and basically it sets the scene for really any president to be able to fucking ban a site, a website, like an actual website. Mm -hmm. Should they horse. think that it horse. is? Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, should they think that it? It, it is radicalizing people or, or, or somehow making it make, I don't know, <laughs> making things extremist uh, in some capacity. That's fucking dangerous. Yeah. That, that is dangerous because who's to say that next president, maybe even if it's, a, if it's Biden or let's say if it's, a, it's another Democrat, somebody that nobody likes and they figure out maybe it is rumble. That they mm -hmm. say, oh well, you guys are radicalizing a certain pocket of the 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 the, the, the country, and this is a threat to national security. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. it's a hit. Yeah, and, we, and and giving the and after what we saw with what the fuck was the name of it? Uh, the, the 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 Twitter competitor that they took down after the election. Oh, um, parlor, parlor, parlor. 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 After what happened with parlor, yep. and after again kicking a sitting fucking president like yep. i live in a world where i'm like if i get in trouble on youtube i can just tweet and you know get some retweets from my friends we're talking about a sitting fucking president got banned and he couldn't get back on like that's scary that's terrifying and yep. well no setting... terrorists still have their twitter account. <laughs> exactly exactly yep. Hell, OJ fucking Simpson has a Twitter. <laughs> what a <laughs> world. <laughs> and so, it's hilarious, by the way. <laughs> going back to TikTok, I'm not sure about, I'm not sure the full truth about this. Maybe Mike can correct me if I'm wrong or somebody can uh, in the chat. The TikTok that we have in America, and I think I heard this on Rogan. He was talking like with somebody. It's different involved. from the Chinese one. It, it is 100% yeah. yes. different from the Chinese one. The TikTok Chinese. we have in America is specifically designed as a cyber attack to make us stupid yes. or, or like make the kids stupid to get the kids into degenerate shit. And the TikTok that they have in China and other countries is much more uh, it's educational. It's, 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 it's positive. Yeah. Right. Yep. So well, it's trying to make people I, feel better and, and it pushes yep. you into like things like science and discovery and things yeah. like that. And it's very it's heavily curated, almost. curated. Yeah. Yeah. They know exactly who's on there making content. You can get banned for certain yeah. things. And here's yeah. the thing that they don't tell people either. TikTok is one of is I wouldn't say one of the most, but it's extremely aggressive in their banning. They will ban accounts they are. for anything. And typically it goes when they start pushing a certain narrative and typically it's when they start actually like reporting on certain news things that they don't want them to report on they will just ban people's accounts they do it all the time well, right they, but they they well, hand, hand select melanie had a point go for it yeah. yeah i there still is some good stuff on tiktok though like yeah. I, i'm gonna be that with the the tiktoks in that's here me too Oh, that's what yeah. my perspective I, I use TikTok almost every day, and my feeds, I, I very rarely get any of the Troon stuff, any of those type of things. I get a lot of Bible content. I get a lot of, like, Black MAGA supporters on there, like, a bunch of different things, um, or even beauty hair stuff. And so it doesn't, uh, while I do think there definitely is a huge problem with 
uh, trans activists, for example, who are reaching children and influencing children in a negative way. Uh, I'm just going to go right back to what Jeremy said earlier, that parents just need to tell their kids not to use it um, instead of having the app banned or regulated with all that stuff. Well, yeah, yeah like, I, I, I'll, I'll let Beardo go and then I'll make my point. But go ahead, Beardo. Yeah. You had oh, no, I mean... <sighs> It's all about the algorithm, right? Like what you have in your algorithm. Like, like Melanie has her algorithm and the followers and what she likes and stuff. Is, and she's going to get that feed, you know, uh, based off of her engagement and stuff. Like China and the people who are in charge of running TikTok, like they, all these young kids that they let be influencers on that app. It's not because they just made a few trendy videos and they just got super popular. These kids were hand fucking selected to have this kind of influence to be put into these children's algorithms like there there's sure there's some people who made their way by making good trendy videos but there is a handful of these motherfuckers who were hand fucking selected because of their political views and the content that they make and to be put into the algorithm over here in america I don't disagree. I, I, I but I, I fall back. Like I am a, I'm a huge advocate of just individuality, mm -hmm. and and I don't like having the government have the ability to just if they can ban. It's it goes back to and I'm not opening us opening us up to a gun discussion right now. Hi YouTube, but it's, <laughs> it's really like when you start letting them ban one type. Yep, it's over because yeah. then they're just gonna. So so you have to draw a hard line to be like don't support them banning any app you know because mm -hmm. let's be real the government ain't banning shit for our well-being that's just yeah. a fucking fact okay they ain't banning tiktoks they're like wow this is hurting the youth of america they don't give a fuck about that so they don't need to have the power to do that as much as you may hate tiktok or whatever i guarantee fucking to you the government is not doing it for the kids well-being it just ain't happening I all agree. right they're doing it for something else Yep. It, 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 and and that's the problem with it. So that's why I I absolutely reject the idea of banning TikTok. And the oh, only yeah. thing I can say is and and it's it's not a it's such an open-ended thing, but to me it's the most simple answer to anything. It's better parenting. Yep. We just need better parenting. If you're going to have kids, you need to be responsible for your kids on an individual level. And that's really what it comes down to. That's the most simplistic way that I can look at the whole scenario. And I 100% agree with Jeremy. Like, Because I do want to clarify because I saw some comments. Uh, I don't think the, it should be banned or removed. I just I think people need to be aware of how aggressive TikTok is when you get into a bad place yeah. on TikTok. Like I, yeah. I have TikTok. I don't mind it. I get funny. I just look up memes and shit like that. And, and like, I, it's funny. I don't get any weird shit on my algorithms, but I know people that do. And I also know people that like, that I'm not really friends with, but I know that watch certain things and that's all they ever get in their feed. And there's been a lot of like people that talk about this stuff and, and talk about, and the fact is we have an account called libs of TikTok. And all they do is go through that app and point out people. And those people that they point out are not like the minority. There's a lot of them on that app, like, but they hide in circles. They, they, they have, they know the algorithm will, will, will shield them from people that aren't looking for them. So, that, but they're, they're making content specifically though for the people that are searching on the app for something or will find one of their videos and watch one of their videos. And the thing is too, they're, they're, there's people on there that believe they're news journalists and you know speaking of rip of mentioned this earlier there's a guy on there um it's kind of an interesting story who was really into movies and he talked about movies all the time and he constantly critiqued movies and he had a very big following like millions of followers on tiktok he goes hey guys i'm gonna go make my own movie and i'm gonna do a crowd you know i'm gonna, I'm gonna put my own money into it and you guys can come watch it and blah 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 and then he uh put it on uh youtube or something behind a paywall and like 100 people watched it <clears throat> he was like furious and he was like why is nobody watching my movie i don't understand like i i you know i thought my audience really wanted to support me and stuff that stuff doesn't translate it's not real like it's mm -hmm. none of that's real mm -hmm. it's it, it, it's all about like consume quickly and move on right. on that app and so what all, all it does is put brain bugs in people's like heads it's not like one where you can talk to your creator and get to know those people and get to know how they are and things like that on youtube where you you got ripa doing live streams talking to you guys and you got enough live streams you can kind of curate like okay like he's been consistent about his thoughts and his feelings and I yeah they know, actually like, know that they're giving who they're giving the money to 
yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. you know so like yeah i don't i don't think the government should ever be involved in banning apps and i absolutely agree as a parent it is my responsibility to make sure that my kids are safe and sometimes mm -hmm. if if i don't know about something as long as I know I'm involved in my kids' lives, I can learn about stuff really quickly. Yep. Oh, what's this new thing you're talking about? Or, oh, what are you learning about in school? Or, oh, you know, you know, my daughter goes, hey, what's this thing right here? I'm like, where'd you learn about that? Oh, well, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about this stuff. But if you're not involved in your kids' lives, you put them behind a fucking screen and stuff like that, there is somebody coming for them, and there's somebody that's going to educate them the way they want them to be educated. And what they want right now, and a lot of the people that are in the current political sphere right now want, is to grab your kids and radicalize your kids and make them think that you're the real enemy they'll and and that the state is their best friend mm -hmm. that the state is the only thing that'll keep them safe so this is the most random comment ever and i love it but Excited. uh I, I i just look at ass and titties on instagram and benny johnson <laughs> it's, <pretty based>. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's such a random thing to say <laughs> shout out sean green <laughs> <man>. <laughs> i just look at ass and titties on instagram and Benny Johnson. Like, well, I think yeah. when you couple that with the dude's face, that's what makes it trippy. Because I can see him saying it like this. Yeah. <laughs> He's just sitting on like Instagram. He's like, oh, uh, all right, let's get to some of the. We got a lot of super chats. Holy yeah, sh that. shit, we, we got a lot of super chats. I apologize we haven't gotten to uh, them yet, but we've had some good discussions going, and we're going to continue these discussions because I think this TikTok story is something. I, I think I, I like the the idea of more people need to probably take an opportunity to educate the audience. Like I, I think yes. I can, I think I can speak for everybody here because everybody here has a fairly decent following on social media, YouTube, whatever. I still have members of my family and they're like, you, you, you get paid for YouTube, <laughs> you know, how, you know, like they have no idea. Like, so the point being is there's a lot of people, especially like the older generation or parents or whatever, they don't understand social media. And, and and maybe that's still a flaw in the parenting because you should understand what your kids are doing, but it's a lot of it's just sheer, just, you know, ignorance, you know, in terms of like, they just don't know and more people need to be educated on it. So Beardo, let's get some of these fifties. Yeah, let's do it. Nick Hammersmith with a 50 says, Hey all sorry. I haven't super chatted in a while. Been busy changing new jobs, moving my schedule around. Awesome to see Ripa pushing hard on Yaira and his Ripaverse. Melanie and Jay pray for a retreat in Missouri. I'm attending with friends. Aww. Let's go, man. Will we'll do. Shout out. Glad, glad shout everything's out. going well, man. We appreciate you, gotcha. man. Ryan's Egyptian ancestor dropped a 50. And I don't know. Maybe they said nothing. Maybe nothing. they said nothing. Maybe Fame they said nothing. All right. Maybe. Sean Green has responded, and it just uh -oh. makes me respect him even more. I'm a, I'm simple, a simple man. man. LOL. <laughs> Perfectly said, man. He's like, look, I'm a simple man. I just need booty, boobies, and Benny Johnson. Shut <laughs> up. Benny needs to make a shirt. Boobies, booty, and Benny. There you go. <laughs> I don't think he'd do that. <laughs> he should. <laughs> uh, Dave Chandler with a 50 said between Trump versus Biden and recent developments like Sweet Baby Inc. and Pelt's movement on Disney, I see a true cultural shift. I know the woke. I know the woke aren't going anywhere, but does everyone else see a change of foot? Also, Melanie and Steph. Also, Melanie and Steph are lovely. Oh, um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 why did you say Jay? thank you, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I I do I do really believe that there is a cultural shift going on. I one thousand yeah. percent believe yep. it. Um, mm -hmm. and, and again, I'm I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I think Elon Musk is the single most important piece of that puzzle. He's not the only piece, clearly. No, but he's the richest man in the world, and he bought Twitter, and he's calling everything out. And yeah. like a few years ago. I mean, it, we thought it was a fucking miracle when, you know, somebody with like 100,000 followers would retweet some anti-woke bullshit. Now you right. got the most famous man on the planet calling it out every day on the, the platform that he owns. It's crazy. So there is a cultural shift going on. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. It's happening in movies. It's happening in video games. I think the Oscars is a great example of that where – they didn't do anything last, at the Oscars. Like, there was no, like, messaging. There was no speeches. And then, of course, Trump. 
realized that they weren't saying anything, so he baited them into responding because that's yes, just what he does. does. <laughs> and Jimmy Kimmel walked right into it. Oh. Uh, and so that was a scene with the Oscars and how they handled it. That to me, and I think that's one reason why Robert De Niro did not win because they're like, we can't get this crazy old man up here on stage because he's going to talk about you know something horrible against Trump. Um, but yeah, um, I, I do. I do think that there's a no, massive gift going but on. But you're right. Like the uh, video that we showed this morning on Daily of like Disney shaking and yes. making a hit piece video on please don't <laughs> vote for these people uh, because. Have you guys seen that, by the way? Because not Jay, you want to no. pull it up? Jay, pull that shit up and talk about it. I just realized about Sean Green, about his Instagram uh, algorithm. It's boobs, booty, and Johnson. <laughs> there you go. No. No. Damn, damn. Like you had to that. put a bad spin on it. You had Boobie to put a bad spin on and it. Johnson. You had to ruin damn, it. Bro. You had to ruin it. Um, it is what it is. So, Jay, do a setup for everybody so they understand what this is because I had not seen this until Jay brought it up on, on Daily today. And honestly, it looks like something from like a Starship Troopers or something. Like, yeah, it's so there's a, there's a big vote, if you don't know, that's going on the Disney board. And Bob Iger does not want Pelts and this other guy on the board. I mean, he is doing everything in his power to get the stockholders not to vote this man on the board to, to the point now where he's already made several videos about, about him talking, saying, we don't need these people. We're doing great stuff. Obviously, that's not working, apparently. So they decided that they were um, going to put together this, uh, this video about it and i mean they use stock footage of people in offices and stuff it's this is stunning it's this freaking cringe stunning. stuff but like this. this is how far they've gone so i'm just i'm gonna play just tell me when to uh pause it uh, jeremy uh, so uh, I'll just play. Uh, uh, ripa have you seen this you got to see this shit like this is this is absolutely investor insane. nelson pelts or jay rizzullo have a seat on disney's board the answer is simple if they succeed, Disney could suffer the same fate as other great companies that Peltz has previously infiltrated, such as GE and DuPont. Nelson Peltz has a long history of attacking companies to the ultimate detriment of shareholder value. His quest also seems more about vanity than a belief in Disney. Why else would he sell 500,000 Disney shares over the past six months in the middle of his proxy fight? Plus, he has no media expertise and no experience in running a global entertainment company powered by creativity. They said I have no media oh, so now, experience. Now they care about qualifications? Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. this is unbelievable. I can't believe they made this video. Like, this makes me want to support Nelson and, Peltz. And, and didn't didn't uh, Bob Iger sell a bunch of shit? Yes, uh, yes, yes, he did. Right, yes, so he did. Just Reportedly. Sure. Wow. Okay. Just go ahead, sure. Jay. Here, go ahead, Jay. I don't claim to have any. And then there's Jay Rizzullo, a former Disney employee who was passed over for a promotion nearly a decade ago. He hasn't been employed since leaving Disney, and the last time he joined the board of a media company, the stock tanked. What's more, Peltz and Rizzullo have teamed up with another disgruntled former employee, Ike Perlmutter, <laughs> Let's who has go! his own lengthy record of destructive behavior inside Disney. You know who that is, right? That's oh, the... I know exactly. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I Marvel. Mean, I know Toy mm -hmm. biz there. I know I know about Ike Perlmutter a lot. Yeah. He, he wasn't he the make Marvel male again. Uh well he somebody put a hat on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, right. Yeah. yeah. He, has he, a well he's, friends with Trump. he's friends with Trump. So. Yeah, yeah. Rudge with Disney CEO Bob Iger. This sort of personal animus in the boardroom is more than disruptive. It can be destructive. Especially at this critical time when despite all of these distractions, Bob Iger and his management team have engineered an ambitious plan to build Disney's future, the positioning the company here. for a new era of sustained growth and value creation. The last thing that we need right now is to be distracted in terms of our time, our energy, by an activist or activists get in fiscal the fuck 2024. Out of here, man. Get this nigga <laughs> off the screen, man. <laughs> Bob, Bob Iger is a... F he is... <laughs> Like, imagine how just self unaware that you just have to be to <laughs> build something out like that, considering that you're basically the head of fucking Disney. <laughs> I know. What I Get know this it. guy out of here, man. It's he great. A, That's why I was shocked that none of you guys have I, seen this this I, video. I, oh. I so I, I know That's that why the theme parks are important. You yes. gotta keep up with the theme parks because 100%. this is what they it's what they do. Hundred percent. But listen, so I know that there is the term activist investor. Unbelievable. That is that, but. 
Bob Iger is not using the term activist investor like the the term that is used in the industry. He's using it in a in the we, way that we would think because he just said it right there. Yeah, he just flat out fucking said it. That's he didn't call him an activist investor. For he said an activist. Like he so that's a hundred percent. You Bob Iger have hired a fucking company full of activists. Unbelievable. Holy shit. Unfucking believable. He said that shit came out of his mouth, man. Oof. Almost Keep done. going. They expect cash flow to exceed initial projections and have set a target of $3 billion in stock repurchases. The board also declared a cash dividend of 45 cents per share, an increase of 50% versus the last dividend paid. After a year of significant fixing that made way for a new era of building for growth, the Walt Disney Company has turned a corner and is focused on creating lasting long term value. Pause it real quick. Notice they're saying nothing substantive about how they've improved. They're yes, saying what they project to do. That's what I said to Dale they've been, Daily. They've been there's, projecting forever, too. Yeah, there's no mention of, like, what they're doing with the Marvel Cinematic Universe or Pixar or Lucasfilm. There's no specifics on building upon that. Like, you... you act, nothing like, substantive. Yeah, it, uh, act, they, so they give you three things of what they're going to do to turn Disney around in this video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just you ready? Hear this <laughs> it's one. crazy. Value is reflected in the recent stock performance, improved operating income, as well as the strategic moves recently made by the company, such as the collaboration and equity stake in Epic There's Games, one. the upcoming release of Moana, Moana 2, Taylor two. Swift's Woo! The Eras Tour, the and the Taylor Swift, Swift Tour. Yay! Those are the three things. Taylor's going to save Disney. <laughs> Taylor's going to save Disney. All right. She saved do? the NFL already. How do you do, fellow Swifties? Uh, uh, yeah. how, how do you do, fellow gamers? Uh, you know, like, I mean, Moana, too. I think that's, I think he just. Coming to Disney talks. Plus and more. The Disney board is always open to good ideas from engaged shareholders, but a quick glance at Peltz's white paper will reveal a surprising number of questionable proposals that reinforces clear lack of experience in media, not to mention a litany of factual misstatements and quite a few proposals that Disney is already implementing. Nelson Peltz and Jay Rizzullo threatened to jeopardize the incredible progress the company the has made since Bob returned as CEO. At this critical moment, what progress? We can <laughs> <laughs> what what fucking progress? What are you talking about? Uh, I what uh, progress did they we, make since they've since they? I'm like I'm asking. I'm, I'm being buying other shit. Yeah, yeah, that's all they've done. That's, that's all. Not they do. let that happen. The choice is clear. Vote Disney. So can I ask the minorities on the panel a question? <laughs> Holy shit! Sure, go for it. Does, does What's up, the, Jay? When you see something that says vote the white proxy card, <laughs> does that offend you or feel like you've been left out or excluded? Vote the white card? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mostly. Can I ask the minorities on the panel? Can I the ask the minorities? Thing? I just, that involves <laughs> Steph, too. And I don't really know what Melanie is. I think she's <laughs> just a... <laughs> She's just a fig. Is what she keeps saying, so. That's accurate. I don't know what I am either, to be honest. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, the white card. For the bottom white card. Man. <laughs> you know, all kinds of sorts of privileges with that shit, apparently. So maybe I need to get, get in on that. Well, if anybody wants that video for a video, let me know. Yeah, send that shit to me. DM me right. shit to me right now. On oh, Twitter. God, that was great. Oh, Son of shit. Bitch. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Keep, uh, keep reading, Beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Disco Cobra for a 50 says, nah, man, if Elon buys Disney or YouTube, which I highly doubt would happen, but if he did, we would see a healthy resurgence of the content we love. Rumble buying TikTok, dang, I'm getting myself set up for streaming on TikTok as well. It would be legendary. Listen, I think I personally, you know, I, I've had some pretty strong criticisms about Rumble, but I love Rumble and I love what they're doing. And um, I think Rumble in the next three to five years is going to be a serious player with YouTube. And you got to understand YouTube. I don't think any of us understand how big YouTube is. Like it's so dumb how big YouTube is and how far reaching it is and, and how many channels and how much content is uploaded. It's crazy. I, I see creators all the time pop up on my feed. That's got like 10 million subscribers. I'm like, who is this? Who's watching this shit? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's wild. It's crazy. Um, I mean, look, I mean, I, I, I don't think I've ever like I, maybe just for, I would watch them. I've watched a couple of Mr. Beast videos just to see what the fuss was about. 
but I, I've never seen like a Mr. Beast video just by casual watching. You know what I mean? It's never really hit my feed. Mm -hmm. um, but the YouTube algorithm is very, we we're talking about the TikTok algorithm. The YouTube algorithm is very aggressive. Um, I mean, it really is. I mean, I, I watched one Mr. Medicare video a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Shout out. Holy fuck. I've been, I've been, I've now I just can't, I saw it's I do it old, watch man. Medicare. I just, I just watch Medicare. I'm yeah. like, this is fantastic. Uh, that's the best thing ever. Um, and, and that's because the algorithm just feeding me now. And I was like, oh, there's another Medicare video. Let me watch this. Oh, there's another Medicare video. Let me watch that. I just watch Medicare all day long now. Um, but that's the YouTube algorithm. It's very, very aggressive, uh, just like TikTok is. But I think that YouTube does a better job of, of enforcing like yes youtube has problems we know that but uh, considering how big the platform is it, it, it's much better run than tiktok <laughs> it's much better run than tiktok so uh, have you been banned on tiktok melanie i have before and then the, they somehow let me back um <laughs> i think i'm on my i think i have one more strike before i get banned again so <laughs> It's wild, man. I I, yeah. I saw like Jake, Jake the Viking. He he got banned the other day. He's got a huge TikTok following. He got banned and he got it back. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't mess with TikTok that much. But anyway, go ahead, Beardo. Uh, the exalted patriarch for a fifty says fifty. Come on, Beardo, make our speakers clip. Thanks, Jeremy, for the shout out this morning. TikTok has become the the Utes. The Utes, Wikipedia, and Snopes. Scary as fuck. Can I get the uh, can I get the list or can I get on the list for Vegas if there are any cancellations? Um, let me talk to Gary. Um, but yes, um, I'll, I'll see if we have any. There is a waiting list for Vegas, and I I would urge people to sign up for the waiting list because you know people come and go. You know what I mean? And look, it's all about fire code. Like that's really like we're the Millennium Fandom Bar. They've been great to us. They do have to stick to that code, um, so we we have to abide by those rules. But there is standing like there's room outside, so mm -hmm. definitely get on the waiting list if uh, if you're interested in coming. Uh, let's see, we got the one for the Girl Scout cookies. Thank you, Alessia, Alessia, the Aussie for a twenty. Thank you, Jam the Elite fan for a twenty-five on Rumble, Steph. I heard on your stream the other day, you're not a horror genre fan, but would you be willing to watch the hash slinging slasher? It's scary, but not too scary. Is it a slasher film? I don't, I don't like it's horror just, films. It's, that's, that, that's a joke. That's SpongeBob. Yeah. The hash singing slasher. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, SpongeBob. I'm already no, SpongeBob. like getting freaked out. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? The, the mere mention of horror, it, it freaks her out. Like she's yeah. terrified of shit. It's crazy. Yeah. She uh, did play uh, Resident Evil 7 on hardcore mode, though. She yeah, was I know, I know. Know. ultra yeah. hardcore mode. I did it yeah. for the chat, and it was the scariest thing I've ever been through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I could, I, yeah, I couldn't sleep due to her just like yelling. And I was in Pensacola <laughs> at the time. I, I heard, her, I heard her yelling from Pensacola. That's how loud it was. It was insane. Uh, I was like, uh, God, is somebody dying? What's going on? <laughs> uh, it was Steph uh, in the game. <laughs> Jamie the Elite fan for twenty five on Rumble. Even if you. Even if you're not interested in the game, y'all should check out the Persona 3 Reload soundtrack. That shit slaps harder than my mother when I back talk her. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Hell yeah. Amazing. Hell yeah. Uh, that was awesome. Dude, video uh, game soundtracks, there's, there's so many good oh yeah. ones out there, man. That there really are. I know I talk yeah. about Arkham City all the time. That yeah. soundtrack is fucking awesome. It is. The main is. theme is on my gym playlist. Raider yeah. over on kick. We are live on kick. Raider just dropped 10 gifted subs. Let's <gasps> go. Let's That's go. That's a $50 donation. That's a $50. That's 50 over yeah. on kick. Thank you yeah. so much, Raider. Appreciate you. Uh, go ahead, Beardo. Uh, sir, sir, rounded by idiots for a $20. <laughs> Congrats, Rippa. Hail, geeks and gamers. Hail the Rippaverse. Hail. Shout out, appreciate you, man. Captain um, YOLO for a twenty dollars. Y'all should see Sweet Baby Inc. being review bombed on Google Maps. Left a review on their <laughs> on their office space here in my city of Montreal. They are a one out of five stars right now. That's crazy. I don't uh, know why this just hit my for you feed. I feel like this guy has commented on um my stuff before, but this is uh on Twitter. And he screenshotted Elon and he's like this fucking loser is going to amplify and boost these shit birds into everyone's timeline. It's going to be worse than before. Hang on. Oh. I got 
Uh, oh, this maybe. dude's been trying to cancel me for the past four or five years now. This guy? Um, yeah. Okay, this, he's always in my journal too. guy. He is. Yeah. He's a, a, a feminist ally. Okay, I got <laughs> I got a response for him. Hang on just a minute. Okay. So what's, this, what's this at? Um. Uh, John Phipps, like Pips. <laughs> is that how you say his name? John. I Pips? guess so. Let's see. <laughs> Dad. Okay, let's see. All right, and come on. All right, there he is. Okay, this fucking loser. All right, I'll show everybody a response. Hang on. So we got a good response for him. He'll like this one. Uh, these th this response tends to really bother uh, weirdos like this guy. Here we go. All right, there's my response. I'll refresh, and I'll show you guys my response here. Let's see if it posts. Did it post right here? <laughs> Hey, little buddy, have you considered crying about it? <laughs> Let's go. Love I love it. this picture, dude. It's so funny because, you know, <laughs> Trump looks so like this. You're so proud of that meme. He, so like, talks about I stole. I st no, but Jack Posobiec is who I stole it from. Posobiec used to use it on people all the time and they fucking lose it. They fucking lose yeah. it. It's There's like four people that posted it in the... <laughs> <laughs> in the so replies good. it's so good i love it dude i told everybody last night like use it use it on all of these fucking weirdos uh they deserve it um anyway dave so chandler good. just dropped a 100 dollars 100 damn 100 shout out damn disney's white paper response to pelton company proves things are are a lot worse at disney than they're letting on they rolled the cost of tech and maintenance and the cruise ships into the total cost of the 10-year investment plan along with the theme parks it's bad yeah i mean jay what do you mean let's talk about it he's talking okay. about the theme parks bro you had your fucking moment right there <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think we showed everything like that's that's happening. They they they, they promised they're gonna. This is why you're never gonna hit a hundred thousand subs. I you know what? I'm still rich, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. As well. All right, Dave Chandler, Disney's white paper response to Pelts Company and Company proves that things are a lot worse at just Disney read it. than they're letting on. Shut the fuck up, Beardo. They just rolled the call. It's a hundred dollar super chat. They rolled the cost of tech and maintenance and the cruise ships into the total cost of the 10-year investment plan, uh, along with the theme parks. It's bad. Yeah, I just what? said it. Shut the fuck Shut up. Shut up, Beardo! Uh, what my point being is that I don't think people understand just how yeah, reliant so they, on they the parks They were going to invest $60 billion, are. and they coded it as Where's they were going to invest... this fucking money at, man? That they were going to invest it in the theme parks because that's the only thing that's generating money for them right now, but then... When you look at what they actually cut it into, most of it's going to like buying new cruise ships and things like that. So they're not really investing too much into the park experience um, themselves. How much so, yeah. did they did they get the epic shit for? You remember what now? Anybody the epic like fifty? Uh, epic what? Uh, the epic, the, games. Epic, the games. epic games. Oh, epic games. Uh, Lord, Jeremy, where are you? No, buddy? no, I, I was wondering if he was getting the epic universe oh. mixed up because that's a universal thing. Was it 50 mil? 50 no, mil it was like no, it was. It was. It was. It was, it was really? a B. More than that? It was a okay. B. It was, okay. it was a B on it. I, I don't yeah. remember how much it was, but but it was. It was a. It was only a. Like, it might have been like 10 billion. I think. Damn. But again, this is epic. What, oh, so what, same what, one point five. Okay, same one and a half. Okay. One and a half, okay, okay. That's still so, a, lot of, a lot of O's, man. That's what it was. So, so it was a small percentage of it, and so people were saying like it needed to be like fifteen or twenty or something like. I that. I just want to know how much debt go. they have. Like that's uh, what I'm. That's, how much I'm they're really accumulating, in like, question. and how much the yeah. government will give them? Because I know in certain states, if you employ and so many, you know, so much, so many people, then uh, you're you're at you're allowed to accumulate a lot of debt. Uh, things like that. So I know they, they, they employ a ton of people here in Orlando. Um, last I saw was that 80% of the people that live in the surrounding area work is somehow related to the Fuck theme parks, man. whether it's hotel, see that. Um, restaurants, things like that. So, but the fact that they're pivoting off the, what they just announced too, which is, which is the second year in a row, they announced that they're going to give a summer discount ticket, which is the I don't ever remember them doing that. I thought it was crazy they did it last year because it's supposed to be the busiest time of year, but they're trying to get more people to show up, I'm assuming, because Universal's about to launch Epic Universe. And 
the census reports of people visiting the theme parks, at least for Orlando, uh, Universal has outshined them every park except for the Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And with that, the only thing left as of their last earnings call that is actually generating money for them, um, they really should take a lot more time in <laughs> investing into those theme parks and making it, you know, like better than what they have it because they they're getting they they're they've already talked about making some changes to some of the older rides that are getting some of the old faithfuls really upset they they took out splash mountain they're replacing they're turning splash mountain which is a mountain into a bayou which doesn't make any sense makes no and, sense um they're talking about rechanging the pirates of the caribbean again of course that's a rumor so that's happening out there because you know pirates are bad people they burn a village and they're chasing women so they don't want that in their theme parks and they just want to remove other things as well to uh make it for i guess a modern audience modern day audience modern so audience what 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 they've totally done is they the the disney adults will always show up but then there's a group of people that getting into a disney park has become so incredibly complex you have to download the app you have to buy a ticket on certain days, you have to have a special reservation. So even after you pay the $200 to get in, um, you might not be able to get in that day. It all depends on, you know, if you have a park reservation, then you got to pay for parking. Then you got to download the app. You got to check your app. If you want to make sure you want to ride a certain ride, they'll tell you what time. to. It, it's it's really bizarre. Then you have Universal. You just walk up to the counter and buy a ticket. If you want the line skipper pass, the fast pass, you buy that ticket and then you're done. You're good for the day. So it's just so different now that they keep shooting themselves in the foot because i guess they think that they're they're becoming progressive or more modern i guess while using technology so it, it I, I hate I don't it know, man but the cruise I mean, ships are doing really well but they just purchased like a billion like some billion one of the biggest ships in the world so they just purchased that ship they're going to do all the renovations for that so that's where all the a lot of that money's going into this brand new ship that they haven't even launched yet so it's wild because, again, um, I used to absolutely love going to Walt Disney World a long time ago before all this shit. I fucking hate walking into that park. Mainly, primarily, like, I, the, their bullshit, like, their, their identity politics bullshit has not completely ruined the immersion of the parks yet, although it's getting there. It's just about the process of, like, apps, uh, schedules, everything. It's like, I, it feels like I'm, I'm going to work. It's it's insane. Like you go to Universal, you're like, I can just kind of go wherever I yeah, want, so and I can go wherever I need. Yeah, like with Disney, is like everything is scheduled. Everywhere you go, every place you eat, every uh, ride you're on, everything has to be pre-planned and pre-scheduled. It's like it defeats the purpose of going somewhere and having fun. I feel like I'm constantly going. Okay, I have to stare at my phone all day long. Well, I do that already. I don't want to go somewhere to have fun to stare at my phone and worry about a schedule that I need to be on. It sucks. It's awful. Um, well, that's the thing that people don't like. I know when we talked about this, I think last year, that was the first time Ripper was understanding like that even though Disney's bleeding a lot of money, they are making billions of dollars with their theme parks from around the world. And that's what's keeping these other entities afloat. Yep. You know, they just they could just borrow from that and this and that and go from there. What yep. the biggest thing that they're dealing with right now, I guess, with the theme parks is that they don't pay their cast members very well. And so they're like, you're going to invest 60 billion dollars, but you're not going to give them a raise like you're not going to, you know, do that. But Disney does something that's a little uh, I, I don't I guess I, I don't know what you call it, but. They do they do a college program where and, and someone could correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but you can work at Disney for very for like pennies on the dollar and you get college credits. So they'll give you a job as a college student and you'll get uh, you know, you get college credit and also international people can come and work at Disney for a year and they'll put you in an apartment complex and pay you next to nothing. So it's like all this free labor that they have. Like coming into wow. these theme parks um, just to get college credits or an international visa for a year. And so the people that are actually that that are working there longer because the college program and some of the international programs haven't really kept kicked back up since the lockdowns. Um, it, you know, it they, they're, they're having to pay more cast, you know, more cast members, but they're not raising their salary, I guess you'd say. And so they're having a, a big issue with a lot of cast members just wanting, you know, threatening like a strike or something like that. So th those are the things that are just floating around 
But all I'm saying is like, if the, we talked about this earlier, is like Bob Iger, he just look the way he runs Disney is he looks at something that was successful and he just buys it and figures that that, that will work. So he's like, Star Wars was successful. So let me just buy that. And now we own it and we'll bleed that dry. Oh, Marvel, let's let's grab that and like we'll bleed that dry. So now it's like they're on this Fortnite thing, like Epic, Epic Games. Let's 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 get a piece of that and like we'll see what by not trying to fix the problem that they have in these other IPs that they own, that should be printing out tons of money for them without any problem. You yeah. know, it, it's like they spent a billion dollars and 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 some of the numbers are still coming out on this Star Wars hotel that we all talked about and laughed at. It didn't even last a year. And they just shut it down without any, you know, they, they didn't even want to try it anymore because it was such a huge failure. And they just sit back and they're just like, I don't know what happened, but maybe we'll try something else. So it's it's just, they, they this is just what they do. They're just going to like, well, we'll just, Star Wars is done. We'll go to the next thing. It's like locusts. They're just going to go to the next farm and chew it all up until it's done and then go to the next one. Mm-hmm. So that that's uh, just where they are. And so they're going to let the theme parks are going to just they're going to get worse and worse. And then eventually they're going to be like, what happened? You know, once Epic Universe opens in Orlando, I think it's just that's really going to tell, you know, because they did the, the one thing that they did in their arrogance. And then I'll, I'll shut up about it was there was a train system that's being built here in Florida. The Brightline train system. I never forget that is that they went to Disney and they were like, hey, can you give us like we need about like seventy five million dollars and some land. And we'll make a train system right, you know, like right when uh, right right where people can get into your parks. Like we'll build that and everything if you can give that to us. And they're like, well, we're Disney. Um, you should be paying us because you'll get more customers that way because people want to go to Disney. And then Universal heard that and they said, all right, you come to us. We'll give you all this land that you need. We'll give you all the mo- how much money do you need? Hundred twenty five million dollars they gave them. And they're building this beautiful train stop from the airport from miami to all these places where the people will get dropped off right in front of epic universe so it's genius I, it you know it's like they're thinking ahead they're planning ahead while disney's like prideful and they're just like well we're disney we're not gonna fail so it doesn't matter uh real so. quick i know steph's got to bounce so uh because she's got she's uh got to go game so yeah. no, i'm kidding now you got yeah. something to do so Thank go you. ahead steph <laughs> we appreciate you go follow stephanie on kick yeah. minority home and uh so wait a minute so is christy keeping an eye on locals um get her set up over there so okay all right all right bye i like how with jay like uh it's either like one word or ten thousand. like you know what i mean it's like hey jay hi you got anything to say on this i just didn't want to over talk well, it's just things I've shared before. I didn't want to over talk anymore. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> uh, look at this. We have breaking news. I don't know if it's breaking news, but I just sort of heard about it. But uh, mm. check it out. Check it out. Don Lemon, first guest on his Twitter show, will be none other than Elon Musk. I'm actually oh. interested to hear that, actually. So mm. that's a Cobra Cast reaction right there. All right. Wow. That's, that's going to be a Cobra cast reaction. I'm very interested to hear how that one's going to go. Uh, so Don Lemon and uh, Elon Musk. Because apparently, yeah, I'm pretty sure Don Lemon has uh, his own kind of Twitter show, kind of how uh, Tucker Carlson uh, had his. So, yeah, man, it's good stuff right there. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, Don Lemon's gay, by the way. Just we'll put that out there. <laughs> He's, He's got a gay. white husband. He does have a white husband. <laughs> they came down to Orlando <laughs> And uh, yeah, didn't want to have any masks on. They were massaging oh. each other by the pool, and this is yep. during the and pandemic. Somebody runs up with a, with yeah. a cell phone. They're yeah. like, "What you doing in Florida with no masks on? <laughs> any uh, microaggressions?" Yeah. You ever see people? You know, people that get caught, and they always do that one hand in front of the yeah. camera, like that's gonna stop the recording. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man they turn into the hunchback of notre dame they're like <laughs> sorry I thought oh that was man hey listen gay black men disney it's not enough diversity for you anymore okay because the x-men 97 creator <laughs> showrunner uh he was gay and black and they still fired him yep mm. I, I, have you have you heard like the story around that it's like it's really strange because like this guy 
Like they fired him like a week before the premiere and he's been working on a lot of different Marvel projects. He's all over social media. He's been very transparent about like X-Men questions and stuff. And suddenly boom, like full stop deleted uh, accounts. They fired him. They've like something's up. Something happened. Rumor is, is Disney caught him with a woman. Which is a <laughs> problem, okay? They're like, whoa. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, I know, almost, I, I, I would have believed you. That's the this, thing. This is like, we don't need no straight black men here. All right. How dare you lead us to believe that you're gay and it comes out you're straight? Yeah. Fired. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. How dare you? Um, but yes, uh, I do have a video on that whole topic there, but we'll see what happens with that. That's a pretty interesting story right there for sure. Um, all right. What do we got, Beardo? I mean, fuck. Are we going to talk about X-Men more? No. No, that's it. All right, little teaser there. Uh, I, 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 what? Fuck. I, 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 <laughs> good Caius. fucking lord, Beardo. I, 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 Kairos. I, I, read the Icarus. No, no, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't think that's what it is. I, I, Kaius, I, Kaius, I, Kaius. What the fuck? Um, saying? Change your name. Change your name. Oh shit! That was if you're gonna fucking shit. super chat here again, <laughs> change your damn name. Holy shit! That was son of a bitch. Like, how dare? Was, how dare you try to make was, me look to, fucking to, to, stupid, today, Junior? Oof, like that was rough. Like, like, like I need any help, okay? Like I need any help. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> change your fucking <laughs> today, name. Irakaya. The Chinese. The Chinese page in a Wikipedia. <laughs> I will Irakias? fucking copy. I will copy and paste it and let you I'm looking you at the name right now. It's Irakias. <laughs> uh, Irakias. That's what I was saying. That's not what you said. That's not what you it's said. It's absolutely what I was Ira, saying. I re I re Irakias. Irakias. Enough. Yeah. Uh, for twenty dollars, the Chinese page in Wikipedia is more honest on a GamerGate than the American one. Thank you for the twenty dollars, Ira Chris. <laughs> no, thank you, dude. You got a lot of it. Why did you say of, it again like, like that? What is what is that? Uh, what what was that video? Can somebody tag me on Twitter or DM me? Um, that the Friday Night Tights animation video that someone made uh, of us, because at the end it's got Gary trying to read a simple super chat that he just fucking butchers it's like such an easy word yeah this one is not one of those <laughs> i want to play that i want to play that one i don't know what the name of it is though uh i'm looking in the chat or what the channel name is that had it 1-800 danky is that what it was hang on hang on 1-800 danky i think they sent it to me on twitter too yep here it is here it is okay perfect all right look at this uh, I'm not going to play. I kind of do want to play the whole thing because it's really fucking good. I might as well play the whole thing uh, right here. It's fantastic. You should be like new, new angle who this. I think Damn, bro. Keep it. Keep it. It's a great angle. Put up a poll. X-ray girl. X-ray girl. Yeah, Ryan, Put up a poll. Exactly it's got your name right above your, your head. Hang on. You're framed in by the toys. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, why are you taking advice from Brian? His backdrop usually looks like ass. <laughs> well, how are Brian's about? backdrop's on fire by the looks of it. It looks fantastic. You're not even on camera, you fucking who you are. You've got our <laughs> internet, and no one can fucking see anything. What are you talking about? And it still looks better than what you had on after time. Fucking one megabyte oh, per wow. second download. <laughs> <laughs> like this so much love you can just oh, feel it man. you can feel it yeah. what a wonderful echo chamber we have I know, right? you feel as i hate you around <laughs> ryan kennel yeah but what i didn't say like by the absence of me saying that i love it you should just know that i preferred the old one not mm. just so that i love it but i preferred it yeah, but I like know. it's just so unnecessary. Like he, he's just Why like you say talking. Unnecessary, like with the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Like, he's sitting there talking, and you're like, "Unnecessary." <laughs> <laughs> Gary, yeah, his background. No way. <laughs> I am the only one of all you motherfuckers who will actually be honest and tell him the truth, right? 
You're gonna fucking coddle him and be like, "What a great change, Dad!" So, bro- so, so the best, the best part of this one, and this Chris, he's funny. When they reacted, I wasn't on FNT when they reacted to it, but when they reacted to it, you heard the audio from the video, and everybody's laughing. And Gary on the stream was like, "Is everybody gonna talk through it?" No one was talking though. It was they were hearing the vi- so it, you couldn't tell. And Gary was getting on to people for talking. They weren't talking. Million <laughs> change oh, as all right, and that's wow. coming from the heart. Do, do whatever feels right to you. It's kind of female to be that upset about this dude's background. <laughs> 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 you know what I just want to know what the fuck I did to Ryan. What did I do to you? <laughs> I'm saying that I liked you before, you motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Do you know I fucking you know, friend? When you marry her? I fucking liked you before. <laughs> I'm saying that I liked your background, and then you went and fucking did that. All right? What, so, what do you fucking want from me? <laughs> I'm just telling you. Just like Walters. What do you want from me? This is the greatest conversation I've ever had in my life. <laughs> we are retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so we really are. Why are you listening to us? Chat? Why are you watching? Uh, for God's sake! This is uh, like Doom Part Two drama. You changed as you changed. changed. <laughs> yeah. exactly. He's gonna ride off on his sandworm. You're a hawk in the What are you doing, yeah. X-ray girl? As when you're pulling it like back. Yeah, where's the pole? <laughs> Come on, you yeah. 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 wake yeah. up, yeah. X-ray yeah. girl. I think they already did one in the corner. Yeah, three minutes. Corner, new angle. Sixty-eight percent. Good. All right, okay. hey, a bunch of progressives that want change in chat. I'm not watching, I'm not, I'm not watching this corner new angle straight. Oh, we're straight. Man. Straight Why on. I gotta be straight. <laughs> oh, a- a- X-ray curl catching hell too, and she actually did her job. We're still yelling at. Her. I got you, X-ray. <laughs> yeah. I saw it. She said, "There is a poll. Damn it! We gotta. We yeah, gotta. I can, y- I can yell at everyone and still read the private chat. I'm like, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to how he fucks up this simple super chat. People. Uh, uh hey, we got one for nerd cookies here from the iron uh iron I iron ar- <laughs> no. say iron. He couldn't say iron. <laughs> How the fuck do you mess that up, Gary? God damn. Uh but that is uh, from one eight hundred Danky. Uh that is oh, fantastic. good job, man. Uh, hope to see good. some G and G ones like that in the future. Hint, well, hint. The half but, uh, we'll today, see. yeah. You'll yeah, see. Uh, dude, oh, there's, man, there's a lot. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah. Just, what? Just basic fucking English, man. What? Talking to Mike. This is a, th- this is I don't, I don't, a conversation I, between me and Mike where I'm I, telling Mike to shut the fuck I, up. I don't think Why you, you should be that aggressive. Yeah. Hands up. Don't there are minorities me. on the panel. Yeah. Please do not be aggressive, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna read some super chats or what? What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> That's what I want to do. I've, well, I've, but now I'm pissed trying. off. Well, <laughs> like that's going to help your... His name is Iarchaeus. <laughs> and he sent her 20. Have some damn respect. Merry Christmas. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, Christ, listen. hold on, hold on. No matter how bad you guys pronounce words, <laughs> oh, yeah. you'll never be worse than Kodak Drink Black. Drink some champagne. Y'all gonna join me? Y'all want some champagne or y'all good? Yeah. Nigga, huh? fuck with a champagne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck with the champagne. <laughs> oh, shit. Champagne? Champagne, bro. <laughs> and he threw it out there so confident, bro. He just. I love that clip. <laughs> Kodak Black. Man, that's my Miami Haitian boy. Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn, bro. Champagne. <laughs> uh, Tom Berry Master with a 50 says it's pronounced Tom Baradeus. Tan cool. Baradeus. Thank you. Uh, Elsid Barrett for $20. Number one rule to live by. The government never does anything to benefit the people ever. Never. If they want to pass a bill to ban TikTok, find out how it benefits them and what powers it gives them. And it's never temporary either. It'll be permanent. Uh, Shadow Saiyan for a $10. Uh, you, Melanie Mac words, ready for Battlefront? Let's go back <laughs> to the simulations and watch those and watch those wrist rockets. Dude, if you again, if you have not, is is Twitter the only place you put that video, Melanie? Is that the only place? Uh, you put it? It, it is. It is. Yeah, because I can't get yeah, anywhere. You gotta else. go. Just scroll her timeline to, to yesterday. 
It is the greatest video she's ever made. She's made a lot of great ones, but that one, I was dying. I, I legit, like, I when I was texting you about it, like, I had tears in my eyes. Like, I was just laughing. I'm like, it's the way, it's the last line, how you just, yeah. maybe you're the... Like, oh my God, <laughs> this is so great. Yeah, it's oh. funny because I tried to upload it while I was at the po post office and my reception was so bad. And I and it, it was after like 30 minutes, I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't post it anyway. It's so offended it, or it's so <laughs> offensive. And then I get back with my day and like a couple hours later when I'm just like, uh, I just finished making some videos and then I see that text you sent me and I was like, oh, the video did go through. <laughs> It's very weird because people get banned on Twitter for not even typing out the entire word. They'll put like that little <laughs> asterisk yeah. and they're like, I got banned for a month. And Melanie says it every other day, <laughs> types it out. And like She does nothing. get restricted every now and then. She'll get restricted yeah, every now and then. It happens sometimes. If, yeah. if a tweet really takes off a lot, I know because one of them had like one of the most likes I've ever had on a tweet. And then I was like, oh, this is doing numbers. And once it reaches a certain point, that's when they're like, okay, limited. <laughs> yeah, I did. I look, I rolled the dice. I played it on Cobra Cast last night. I was like, you did? No. yes, I did. I did. I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Uh Amazing. I was like, it's so good. I was like, it's so good. You guys got I'll take it. I'll take the hit if I got to, but it was that good. So yeah, I did. I love that. <laughs> uh mark of reality for a ten dollar. Show that video discrediting Nelson Peltz to Valiant Renegade. I want his take on it. I'm sure, I'm sure he has he's it. got I'm sure he's covered this already. I mean Valiant's uh, uh, we need to get Valiant on main event. That's what we need to do. Uh Mike Hill for a ten dollar. Uh Steph, how are you doing after the news of the Batman two being delayed until two thousand twenty six? Yeah. Um I did see that. I'm not sure we why. I'll try though. to make it on mid. Yeah. <laughs> uh eric john a pizza artist for ten dollars bing congrats to eric first heard you uh first heard you on the tom wood show many years ago and your hard work and success is truly inspiring love all you guys you are the captains now shout out man appreciate you bro shout out uh xavier for ten dollars Good day, y'all. It's my birthday today. Don't worry. I'm not asking you to sing and lose all of the chat in the process. However, I am going to hand 20 random people in the chat a membership. Hail all. And I believe he did do that. Yep, there's Xavier gifted 20 Geeks and How Gamers. How you gifted us shit for your birthday? <laughs> I know. Yeah, shout That's out. Crazy. Man. We appreciate awesome. that. Shout out. Hey, and happy, Xavier. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Uh, James. Hey, by the way, uh, I just want to say, so if you have not, uh, I've been trying to tell people this uh, the last few days, but if you have not, uh, you know, we're working on geeksandgamers.com. Um, but uh, if you want to go over there now, go ahead and get your account set up. Uh, that would probably be, if you're planning on, you know, being on the site, you know, we do have the forums right now that you can um, be on, but I would recommend going ahead and getting your an account set up. Everything will transfer over with whatever changes we, you know, are going to implement. But uh, just make sure you do that over there if you have not at, at this point. Uh, James, James Bercy for a $10. Is Ripa able to afford laser treatment for his hair shoulders yet? For his hairy shoulders yet? <laughs> I, I could have long afforded that, but I'm just not gay. <laughs> there you go. He's uh, not John ja Limon. James Bercy for another 10 When is Jeremy's big fig uh, merchandise dropping? That's a brand worth getting behind. The juicy <laughs> snack that just explodes in your mouth. Dude, the fact that that big fig mattress showed up while Jay's when he was sharing his screen was the greatest thing ever. How, how did that stick? I don't get that. Big fig mattress. Who calls their mattress big fig? And it's for fat people. That made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. I get the stupidest ads. I don't get it. Oh, man. Mike Hill for a 10. Giancarlo Esposito said he would want to play Professor X without being in a wheelchair. Well, then he wouldn't want to play Professor X. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You can do it in the multiverse. Um, John Yarber for a ten dollars. Why do all these crazy women wear uh, rooting rings in their nose? They are made for hogs to keep them from digging under fencing. One nine nine. Melanie, what's up, girl? Hey. Um. Elisea uh, Medina for a $10. Jeremy, it may not agree with all your politics, but you are still a great man. Keep up the hard work. This goes for all of Geeks and Gamers as well with a heart. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I don't I don't want people to just agree with everything I say. I don't think that's required uh, for anybody uh, in any situation. I think that's uh, very boring, actually. Um, Mike wouldn't be here if that was the case. 
Uh, did you guys see this real quick? Uh, punctuation is, is important. Okay, guys. Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless <laughs> tweeted. Uh, <laughs> you, see, you see my response? Yeah. <laughs> we were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. That was great. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> It, I'm just saying it punctuation is important. Okay. But the memes are glorious. I got to be careful. Okay. Yeah, Look at that. That comma in a sentence. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. There we go. That comma. I'm going to. Okay. Uh, you see, if it wasn't <laughs> the comma, this would have been an entirely different meaning. That's a sports thing. Uh, I'm not going to scroll much further because no, Twitter can't, can't. is honestly a cesspool for fucking porn. It's awful. Yep. I fucking hate it. Like, it's terrible. Um, but yeah, uh, Skip, <laughs> that was an interesting tweet right there. Man. <laughs> Did something happened with the Cowboys or something. That's why <laughs> the Cowboys that. have done nothing except nothing. For pretty much lose players. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so he's like Jerry Jones was all in. He's like, yeah, right, kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Uh, and Akmaman for a ten dollars. Leave Jay alone. Do you think Ryan would ask the minorities about the white card? He would just <laughs> shove the white card into their faces. Thanks, Jay, for caring about the minorities' feelings. Yeah. <laughs> would it not be racist, Jay? Good job. Hey, good job, Jay. That a boy, Jay. Good guy, Jay. Marcus Henry for a ten dollars. Bridge Benz broke. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> No, it's it's a tongue twister. It's, it, this is done on purpose. I bet, yeah. Bridge yeah. bends broken burner brigging brothers uh, berayers bodies briefly be body banging uh, bloodin brothers blades blastin brave bashin Brooklyn ballet busters. Thank you, Marcus Henry, for the ten dollars. <laughs> Uh, Alessia Medina for a ten dollars. Jeremy, opinion on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Question mark. I have never been a Final Fantasy uh, player myself, so um, I am this not the one lot. to to add. I, I, yeah, I've just never like very few RPG games. Like obviously Chrono Trigger, you know Chrono Cross. Uh, you know, I, there's a, a few, but I've never been a big RPG player uh, for the most part. Um, Anybody else played it? Anybody else here? played it no I'm not gonna play that shit. no i didn't no. like the final fantasy 7 remake i was so checked out um i yeah it, it just seems like most of the focus is always on story and cut scenes and all that kind of stuff and i i love a good story but not i don't know i i just wasn't impressed enough with final fantasy 7 remake to pick up rebirth you know well, what came out Walker today one of the best video games he's ever played in his life uh, you know so. you know what you know what came out today Contra, the new Contra game, yeah. um, and I uh, meant to purchase that right after um, uh, the uh, daily today. But I've I I've, I've heard good things about it. I, I haven't heard like anybody's in depth review. I know like the people played it a few weeks ago. So uh, Contra Operation Galuga. So we'll see. There I'm interested. Uh, um, we have an important question on the kick side. Does uh, does anyone know when the two two one B tactical bags and hats ship out? Been waiting for an update for a couple of weeks, and I've heard nothing yet. Um, let me. Um, I was actually supposed to get that update. I'm gonna find out right now. Hopefully, I can have you an answer before the stream ends. Cool. Uh, Drew and Charlie for a ten dollars. The part Mike left out about the GamerGate story is that the gamers didn't buy it. The media pushed one story, but the gamers didn't believe it. The rift essentially ended games journalism. I mean, yeah. Shout out. Thank you, Drew and Charlie, for the 10. Uh, Randy Jane for a $10. Super excited about tomorrow, as I'll be doing my first ever podcast interview on the Iron Man podcast. Any tips or preparation notes you guys, that, uh, you guys have that I should keep in mind? Hail to the fellowship. Who was that? uh randy jane oh randy what's up randy that's awesome um yeah i mean because you're fairly new to a lot of this stuff right um because uh i know she's been you know talking she's tweeting at us on twitter and things like that so it, don't try to don't try to have any kind of conversation to, like that you're not uh, familiar with like there's gonna be things you might be asked about or topics that come up just you know stick to what you know and uh don't try to you know, overdo it, things like that, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. Um, Contra is good. The Switch port plays like crap, though. I'd go with PS5. Uh, listen, I always say, if if you if you uh, have access, if you're playing a game that has, uh, you know, if it's a multi-platform game, uh, play it on any other platform but Switch. All right, right. that's yeah. just the truth. 
Uh, Kongzilla for a 50. For a 50! Still on the road returning from a playoff game, but I had to pull over to send some cash for Geeks and Gamers and the mighty Melanie Mac. Have a good show. Aww, Thank you. Kongzilla, Thank you very you're much. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Somebody um, in the chat said I'm a normie gamer. Yeah, how many yeah. normie gamers play fucking Fortnite? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing real games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, JS Pena for a 199. Didn't like the trailer, but hopeful for the comic. Oh, <clears throat> that's cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, I. Uh, that's feedback. Yeah, we what we like feedback on that. Uh, Randy says thanks so much, guys. Uh, you are welcome, Randy. We appreciate you. Chris B for five dollars. What a dork that nerd Craig is for dipping out on vacation while all this stuff is popping off. Big congrats uh, to the Ripperverse team and Eric. What an idiot. This Craig what a guy. fucking clown. This Craig no. guy is never going to be successful uh, on the internet. <laughs> fucking blabs in charge. Yeah, Jesus like, much. what a retard, okay? This guy's never, this guy will never build a successful brand on the internet. It will not happen. So the guy's an idiot, so... <laughs> Two By the way, don't, don't tell him I said that. Like, just keep it between us guys, like, you know, all of us. But, yeah, the guy's an idiot. Uh, Jay Rami for a $5. <laughs> Only reason Yara beat Isom was better website infrastructure. Isom will have his revenge. Much love to the Ripperverse. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Beardo's like secret it. illiterate I like, I like racism. The, I, like the inner, I like the inner rivalry within the Ripperverse. That's what's Ooh. up right there. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, Beardo's secret illiterate racism for a $5. Even though the Yaira trailer was on a humble budget, I'm still proud of Eric. Excuse me, Black Stan Lee, and what he has done with the Ripperverse. Appreciate that. Thank you. Hercules for a 199. Eric needs two more, and he's the MJ of comics. The MJ <laughs> of comics, man. Mm. Damn. Uh, right here, Grum says, Sweet Baby Ink gets exposed for harassing and trying to cancel a gamer. Gets banned, goes private, runs to journalists to try to cover it up, uh, cover up DEI and gaming, ends up being retweeted by Elon Musk. They mega Streisand. Oh. Bro, this is huge. I'm telling you, man. Grum's this thing, on fire right Grum's now. Grum's is on is, fire. He is burning the whole internet to the I, ground. Hey, like, tell him we want, uh, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna quote tweet him, and I'm going to tell him we want him on Geeks and Gamers, and you guys got to go back me up, okay? You guys yep. got to I mean, just okay. He just was on Flash. Okay? I know it was. I know it yeah. was. Uh, Did you, uh, I don't know if you saw, there was another guy. Uh, he's a fucking games journalist, of course, for uh, Game Dev. Who asked why? Um, here, I, I have the the tweet right here. But he said we reached out to Valve and Discord multiple times. Asked how a group of group using their platform to target a company was within the bounds of their terms of service, because he was trying to say that they were targeting like uh, Sweet Baby Inc. And they got fucking community noted to hell. And Grums was right there to call him out. Mm. All right, getting those mentions. Blow up his mentions. All right, all right. Tell him. Tell him we want to see him on G and G. We can get him on main event next week. That'd be awesome. I know he was on Flashcast. Uh, he's been on with the quartering, and yeah. uh, dude's a freaking legend. Yeah. So uh, it would be really That's cool to have him on. So um, Jay, can you tweet it? Because you're the biggest star on Twitter of all of us. <laughs> one <laughs> fucking tweet from one Jay. tweet, Jay one Jay tweet. On. Like Nobody. Jay, listen, Jay can Please make say. or break your life with one yeah. tweet. Just okay? one tweet, Jay. One he day. does follow me. I worked a I worked a campaign with him once. Oh, uh, nice. okay. It was for uh, what was that game called? It was after the WoW stuff. He made his own game and it had like jetpacks of like a shooter. You could go from first person or third person perspective. I don't remember what it was called. It didn't it didn't end up taking off uh, that. But still, I remember that. Are okay, what are you dude? laughing about? Melanie's trying to talk. <laughs> Jay, what are you doing, bro? He's. I responded. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. No, it's nothing. After uh, I tweeted, I was like, "That's so, That's pretty gay." <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, I was. You put pressure on me. He just said, oh, let's, see, you're good. Let's talk let's games. Let's talk games. <laughs> he didn't even retweet it. He just tweeted. Like he did, he just That's commented. That's what's funny games. considering Jay never talks <laughs> games on here. <laughs> He's gonna, hey, fellow gamers, we're, we're gonna uh -huh. get grumps on. Jay's gonna talk about CFD. 
<laughs> yes, right. We're talking about so seeing. have you ever heard of Lawn Mower Simulator? <laughs> <laughs> I, was the, I was the number one Lawn Twitch streamer for two months, by the way. Yeah. Why are people retweeting that? Bro, Don't retweet so, me. Have retweet you ever heard of Jeremy? Cat Simulator? Bro, I'm dying right I gotta now. delete it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're keeping it. Screenshot no, it. Watch it. Watch it. Why? What do you mean by I like it? Screenshot that. Tweet. Screenshot that shit, chat. <laughs> Steel leg of history for. T <laughs> Let's talk Let's games. Talk, Let's talk games. Game, bro. You were like Jay. Hurry up! I didn't know what to write. I was I was in a panic. <laughs> I think that's that's what he would want to like know, right? Let's talk. <laughs> Can we get a G and G T shirt? It just says let's talk. Why are people are quote tweeting it? What is happening? I love it. I'm fucking dead. Dude. Somebody quote tweeted it's said this is right gay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the quotes. <laughs> oh, Mike, come on. <laughs> yeah, uh, how do you oh, fucking man. do it? You, uh, is it viewing? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of Tetris and <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, let's right talk. Now. There we go. Oh. Steven's got your back. <laughs> How do you do, fella? <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is super gay. I hate Trump. Just rip him. Oh, my fucking stomach's so good. Bro, this what? shit is so Oh my good. god, oh. Perry Chan is even. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Carolyn, protect this man! <laughs> <laughs> more Why are you guys doing uh, that, man? I didn't know what to write. Uh, I was in a hurry. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> holy shit, dude! This is so good. <laughs> oh, oh God! Oh, God, dang it, Jay! I swear, you are the most unintentional, funny person I've ever fucking. Oh my known. God, even Krista. <laughs> yes, amazing. <laughs> He's not gonna come on now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a nice idea. We tried. tried. Bro, we tried. Been, there there was an attempt. We're all getting blocked. <laughs> We've got twenty-five quote tweets already. <laughs> I know. What is this? <laughs> Oh, right fuck. Steel leg of history for a $2. <laughs> to boot Jay. Be blessed, Jay. $2. <laughs> for $2. Shadow oh, Saiyan for a $5. Fuck, Another. I, hit, I hit my tooth with the fucking. It's <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at Jay's stupid ass, man. What's <laughs> <laughs> that means? Fucking hurt. <laughs> Damn, we need bro. Krista. We need a let's talk games emoji in the chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk games. <laughs> it's, so... it's so bad, bro. Shadow saying for a five dollars. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Krista posted a picture of me with a Goomba hat on. <laughs> oh, I make sure I won't be on Tuesday night's main event when uh, mm. oh. Grums shows up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, let's go. Shadow saying for five dollars. Jesus Christ! He's about to ratio Jeremy on his own tweet. <laughs> <laughs> It's so fucking bad, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You have, you Let's have... talk games. You, <laughs> you could have said anything else and it wouldn't have been as awkward. Harry Chan wrote, these bots are getting out of hand, Elon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh, God.
Okay, we spent way too much time on that. Go oh, ahead, man. Beardo. That was awesome. Go ahead, Beardo. Shadow Sand for five dollars. Another two nights main event. Another night to talk games. <laughs> I'm yeah. Just I'm just, that's not what he said. That's not what he said. Uh, another night of bad Beardo takes. Hey, you you watch your fucking mouth, Shadow Sand, okay? <laughs> Big Raj for uh, 199 says, nothing. Thank you. Sketch for a $2 says, blah. See a leg of history for $2. Thanks for all you do, Jay. Proud of you, Jay. Uh, Sophie for a $5. Hail everyone. I know most of yous, but to trigger Jeremy, what are your zodiac signs? <laughs> I answered this on side scrollers today. I told you guys I am a disabled paladin. <laughs> <laughs> That's my zodiac. <laughs> Mountain Mutt for five dollars. <laughs> that that mean lady in customer service at Carolyn told me to go fuck myself and buy more shit. So, well, so this she's started, just doing her job. The whole sign thing. So I started a whole thing. I was on Cobracast. Sophie asked me what my sign was, and I'm like. Only gay men and women talk about their sign. I don't know what my fucking sign is. I don't keep up with that shit. And uh, so, yeah, that's what started it. And Sophie's been, like, trying to get this conversation going now. Mm. Um, so no offense to the straight men out there, but you're gay if you talk about your sign. Like, I, I again, agree. I, I, there's never been a, a man that walked up to another man is like, hey, what's your sign? That's well, really gay. I, been, but they, I would be so tuned out yeah. if a guy yeah. opened with that. Asking what my sign was, I would. It would be almost as bad as is a guy eating salad in front of me. I couldn't do it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Garfield's bizarre adventure for a five. Rippa has graduated from Black Stan Lee into Black Walt Disney. <laughs> uh, Dragon Dan for a five dollars. Jay and Rippa, any possibility for hardcover copies of your books? Question mark. Uh, yes. Whatever he wants to do, yes. <laughs> maybe maybe not this run, but uh, um, we are. I'm I'm in the middle of fin finishing up the novelization. Fiddling with it, yeah. And someone. and uh, those will those will probably be hardcover. So, but not probably not this first run. Uh, Say, like dream for five dollars. I ain't never buy comic books before. Which one I buy? <clears throat> All of them. Ripperverse. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was a good starting point. <laughs> um, I got to be careful with this one. Uh, uh -oh. Jaffa, Jaffa Cree Selekic Nemron oh for a 199. Shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you That's see what their, It's like a wizard trying to summon That's something. That's their fucking name, dude. Uh, like, gonna come back to Craig's new podcast, Salads and Signs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, for a 199, Melanie, what's your preference in your Mac Daddy? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Don't um, ask, don't, don't ask her a sign and don't eat a salad. That's a good start. No. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. Gerald Armstrong for a two dollars. I spotted MCU fan in another live stream just right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he, uh, che is he cheating on Krista? Wow. 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 Mm. MCU fan. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Uh, Lofty Beardo for a 199. Ketchup on steak is a 9.1. How fucking dare you? I like How ketchup on steak. You? What? So does President Trump. Oh, my God. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, this is because he's the president. I'm like, what the A fuck? good steak doesn't need nothing, man. Oh, my God. Doesn't bro. need nothing. Yeah. Beardo's least favorite gay parakeet for a five dollars. Yeah, fuck you. I don't like you. <laughs> Says stop it, Beardo. Don't stick that in there. It's unnatural. Ow, that hurts. Well, sorry. SBZ <laughs> for a five dollars. Jay gets all the hot chicks. Beardo gets all the weird YouTube accounts. How are you feeling, Beardo? Hey, listen. <laughs> I feel fucking great. MCU <laughs> fan for a two dollars. <laughs> Melanie the bigot queen. Marcus right. Henry for a five says the Ripper verse the Ripa verse Urs uh, has been consistently trending. Congrats, Ripa. Hail the one nine nine. Yeah, it's trending right now, actually. Yeah, Appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. And Eric hell yeah. July. Ripa verse and Eric July trending right now. Oh, hell yeah. Uh Boba Drinker for a five dollars. Sweet baby is prime example of ignore and it'll go away. Not working. They'll go underground and reap and uh and reappear later. 
F to those fence sitters 10 years back. If we don't get grums on Geeks Gamers, it is Jay's fault. His fucking tweet has got m almost he more traction than mine. Did you see a hell <laughs> he quote storm? tweeted you. Yeah, what I remember he embraced storm. you. Yeah. To me? Quote tweeted me or Jay? No, I mean, me. Yeah, he quote tweeted Jay, but he oh, ratioed boy. Jeremy's tweet, yeah. Not, no, he didn't. Yeah. It's close, though. He's close. Few favorite. engagements. <clears throat> Uh, Double Hawk for a five dollars. Okay, no Sweet Baby Inc. is a partner with Wizards of the Coast, which could explain why we got uh, why we got Black Aragorn and King Theoden. Yeah, fuck Wizards of the Coast, man. They're stupid ass <laughs> fucking company. I hope they go fucking bankrupt. Uh, I, Math had, I had to retweet Hills. No, come on. <laughs> I had to. And I, and I'm fucking it. playing it. I'm Show playing it. it. It's fantastic. It's so fucking good. Dude. It's so fucking good. All right, here we go. So Hailstorm is... quote tweeted with with his Zelda video. Zelda <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. No, you're gonna get stuck, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. More silence on a live stream. That's like, I have to learn from that. Bro. <laughs> How come it's not dropping on me? <laughs> I can't get out of this. How do I get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> the only one that gets stuck in Zelda. That's my favorite part. Of How do I get out of this? <laughs> Try to hit it one more time, Jay. <laughs> there we go. Oh so my god. Good, awesome. That's Not my great oh moment god. in gaming. Let's Ma talk games. Let's talk games. Huh? <laughs> Matthew Hammond for a $5. Existing laws could be used to take down TikTok. At the very least, the federal government could throttle TikTok's bandwidth and make it unusable. <sighs> Lofty Beardo What's for funny a is Jay's own tweet. He's about to get his own tweets about the ratio himself. He's got like 70 replies to his fucking tweet. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. That a boy. That a boy. Just one tweet, man. Just one fucking tweet. We were saying it before he did it. Lofty Beardo for a 199. E.T. is Spielberg's best film. Uh, uh, if that, if that's, no. if that's that your opinion. All, all no, I'm it's... saying is, when I launch this green, y'all better give me the same love. <laughs> we got <laughs> you, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We got you, man. Pull up Eric Stratton. Eric mm. Stratton. Eric Stratton. Right now. 77, 77. Huh? Eric Stratton. There we go. 77, 77. Look at that. I laughed until I threw up, Jay. I love you, man. If we if we see see each other in the parks, let's talk let's rides. Talk rides. <laughs> let's talk rides. Wait, hold let's on a talk second. Rides. We can't that I can't do that with you, Eric. Aren't you in a wheelchair? <laughs> oh no. That's why he wants to talk rides, man. He oh, wants your opinion. No. Hey. <laughs> He wants your opinion, oh, man. Oh, my Eric. God, man, bro. The man. Wait, I, I, don't, I don't think you ride and ride, man. Well, not that much. If you just I was not ready right for that. I was not ready for that. What just happened? <laughs> Eric, tell me in the chat. Am I thinking of somebody else? What do you mean talk to each other? You're in a wheelchair. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, are you not in a wheelchair, or did I mess, did I mess that up? <laughs> bro, like, what the fuck? I think Eric is so upset, he just fucking closed down and unsubscribed <laughs> just done he's done and then uh elite neo just dropped to 52 can you guys subscribe um, to my pirate channel at least like give me some hope over here yeah where is elite neo's 50 um buried here somewhere unless, unless we want to pull it up that's bad uh elite neo for a 50 says never would have thought i'd be doing the lord's work when i clipped that part of jay zelda 2 stream <laughs> <laughs> made the world a better place. Now we know who it is. No, he emailed it to me. He's the yeah, one. That's true. <laughs> and that's the thing, man. Like, you guys, the, the audience has to understand. You guys are the most important part to everything. Like, the memes, the things that are happening, uh, clipping out funny moments. Like, Elite Neo is the reason that we're able to revisit that. Because that happened. And it's that was what? How many years ago was that, Jay? 
man it's like, that was a couple years ago at least yeah. right and and yeah. it was just kind of gone and forgot and then i i don't know if i mentioned it one time on stream and then he emails me and now we've kind of got it now it's part of our rotation so always clip shit out uh <laughs> meme us all that eric does no longer affiliate so keeps <laughs> where's eric at now Excuse eric me. eric has not uh responded uh, so mm. where's he at tough that's tough. Damn it. Damn. Jay. Jay. He's, yeah. he's refunding his 77 yeah. 77 right yeah. now. Good We're job, Jay. The theme Thanks, park. Jay. He's like, you're in a wheelchair. No. <laughs> God man. Say, it's say it's like that. Way, way to just profile the guy, man. Melanie, how are you doing, man? <laughs> I am doing great. Fantastic. Thank you. Good thing you're I'm, not in a wheelchair. I'm standing <laughs> right now. Oh, no. Yeah, good thing. Feels good. Fuck. Not a minority or in a wheelchair. It's pretty good for yourself. <laughs> Oh, when is Melanie shit. coming back to go to the theme parks? That was... I need to soon. We need to figure yeah. that out. Get more pictures shit. of Jay's ankles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need more pictures of your ankles, Jay. Oh, I have to yeah. take them, though. Hear that, fellas? <laughs> have nice ankles, and Melanie will take your picture. <laughs> uh, versified for a $5. I did not know Melanie Mack was a frag doll. If she mm. was a professional wrestler, her entrance music would be mindless self-indulgence, the F word. Yay! <laughs> yes, I was a frag doll back in the day. Uh, that's that's kind of how I got started with, like, gaming content and or making gaming content. Um, and all and go and my first time going to a gaming event and stuff was with them. So, dude, yeah, it's it gotten fun. to the point I can't like I was watching Step Brothers the other day. And in the end, when, you know, after like the Catalina Y mixer and he's like uh, talking to Derek and he's like, should we hug? And he's like, yeah, you'd like that fat, you know, and then I was just like, <laughs> that's, that's the, the Melanie, you know, like yep. as soon as he said it, it's so good. Yep. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I bet you'd like that fat. It's so good. I was like, God, it's such a good movie, dude. Yeah, it's so close. great. <laughs> uh, Justin Martens for a five dollars. Put a Tardo in it and make it lame and gay. Thank you for the $5. Uh, Z Highness for a $2. Hi, Mel. I combined steak and eggs for lunch today. Amazing. I am impressed. I uh, love that. Beardo's yeah. Ricada size shoulders for a $2. He buys dolls to put on the wall instead of lifting. Damn. I mean, most of these were given to me, but thanks, motherfucker. Am I out uh, of focus? What's going on? Thanks, Cam. What's going on? A little bit. Shout out to right. Wiley Dave. Uh, Anthony Gorino for a one nine nine Hollywood Pro Sports. I want gone out of here. We just thank you for the one nine nine, Anthony yeah. Gorino. Lofty Beardo for a five dollars. Beardo is the best reader of Geeks and Gamers, followed by Jeremy, Jay, and Mike is in last. <laughs> well, I don't you. know if that's a flip that. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't, don't know. All right, Eric. Finally, he didn't offend him. Uh, <laughs> OMG, I'm dying. I can't. Uh, it's a, a knee scooter, and I did three what? Velocicoasters. Holy shit. Last time. Uh, just kidding. It's not your fault. Uh, you think sideways. Jay, <laughs> you realize he, he, you just lost me $70 in Super Chats. He sent a $77 Super Chat, and his response was $7. So you, you just lost me $70 in Super Chats, Jay. Good God, job. Guy the guy's handicapped dude why you want more money from him like what's wrong with you handyman have some respect hey eric appreciate you brother i love eric dude yes. eric's good people oh, man. man it's the best part of our uh the audience is the best part of everything we do arachaeus for a uh, two dollars love eric uh not even yep. camelot struggles that much yeah <laughs> well That's he rough. just he's just perfect isn't he huh <laughs> anthony garino for a 199 melanie how you feeling about russell wilson Good. I mean, I swear we've just not had the best quarterback situations. I know a lot of people have way too much hope in Mason Rudolph, and I think that he did a lot, a lot better than I anticipated. But dude isn't gonna get us any playoff wins. So and neither is Russell Wilson. <laughs> well, there's a much better chance. Uh, no. There is a better chance. I, <laughs> we'll I, see. I, I am hope. not a fan of Russell Wilson, but he is a he's. I mean. Dude's been to multiple Super, Super Bowl Bowls. champion. Yeah, Super Bowl yeah. champion. Yeah. He's one bad, bad, bad decision from being a back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion. Um, yeah. And uh, 
I, I don't know, man. I, I, I <coughs> it's it's weird because when Russell Wilson was a like a uh, perceived as a top guy, I was very anti Russell Wilson, and I still don't like him. Mm -hmm. But now that it's on the flip side, and everybody has all this really negative opinion of him, I'm like, he's not as yeah. bad as you guys are saying. Oh, hold on. What? This is why I love this community. My dude emailed me. I thought it was a gag. We I talked. Remember this. We got I remember everything this. worked out. He's going to get me inside the Goonies house what? over there in Portland. Uh, we've been talking for a while, and, and he was like, I'll get oh, back yay. to you. He knows the owners and all that stuff. So I'm like, bro. That is fucking rad. Shut dude. up, man. That's, that is that's crazy. That's really cool. Yeah. That is crazy. The Goonies is the definition of a timeless classic. I love that. It, it is the definition. One of my tattoos. Hell yeah. That's why. And for those that were wondering, because I see a lot of short bus or a few short bus comments, I showed this off earlier <laughs> daily. I did drive a short bus. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there you go. And look at the way you're driving it. So yeah. I, one tire on the curb and one on the street. Okay, well, first of all, this is in Haiti. When I was in Haiti, building hospitals and schools and all that stuff, like I had a short bus that I had to like drive people around in. <laughs> so, so yeah. So I drove a short bus. And that's how you park in that country. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. And now they have cannibals over there. So yeah, I was gonna say, now they're eating each other. So. Pretty something. Yeah, that dude standing there's looking at you kind of weird. See him. Weird. Weird. Snacks. Are you scared? Are you scared of black people? No, it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I can't confirm that. Yeah. That went right over your head. I meant, that was I meant a microaggression. Person, so. yeah. yeah, I felt yeah. very <laughs> microaggressed. Yeah. Sorry, my semi-illiterate <laughs> racism. No. Uh, Kurt Angle for a uh, five dollars. I hear, I hear your chants. I hear your cat calls, and yes, it's true. I'm obsessed with other men's balls. Word. Oh. Holy shit. Cool. Uh, Xavier, uh, Xavier for another five. Good day. The best thing is that I'm turning 19. 199. Hurrah. <laughs> All right. Nice. Cool. Uh, Culper for a two dollars. Beardo and Biden have a lot in common. Hey, you watch your oh, mouth. Oh, shit. <laughs> Culper for another five. Pretty bad. Uh, making my first YouTube video on Haiti this week. Any advice on making thumbnails? You guys have inspired me. So thank on you. On what? Haiti. On Haiti. You're going to talk about the country of Haiti? Yeah, all the all the stuff, going, stuff, on. All oh, the stuff going on right now. Yeah, well, that's very. Here's if a you... thumbnail idea. Get that <laughs> Uganda knuckles and have explosions in the background in chaos. Close enough, right? <laughs> Melly, get get banned on YouTube before he even starts. Uh, <laughs> you want you want you you want your vi this this is real talk. You want your ha Haiti video to go viral? Put the Clintons in it. <laughs> like put that on your thumbnail because those people destroyed that country man i've got gotcha. stuff i i, I don't even want to say it but it, it is uh culper literally just said it in the chat i'm covering its association with the clintons yeah oh, that's 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 what's happening and dude when i was when i was there there would be signs that would go up in front of these crumbled up schools because i was there right after the earthquake for some time and they would be like, we'll be rebuilt by the Clinton Foundation. And those no one ever showed up. We just did it ourselves. So it was just like, I, I don't know what they were doing in that country, but stealing money. And so it, it, it yeah, Damn. put the Clintons in the thumbnail. Up. Trust me, people will watch it. Yeah. So uh, Linko Kenobi for a 20. What's up, guys? I did a gameplay streaming on Contra and the Xbox Series X and also Spider-Man 2 New Game Plus mode. I also made two videos about Shogun Episode 4, and I spoke about X-Men 97 showrunner Hail the 109 and Hello Melanie. Hail. Hi. Shout well, out, We have Linko. more black people in Shogun. I'm kind of frustrated about that. So. Yeah. 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 Uh, Atreus for a <sighs> 50. Melanie, it's about time you update your DEI standing and throw some subs... Throw some subs, Maine. Here you go. Uh, Atreus for she another one nine nine. Y'all, uh, Mike, you want to read this one? Um, hold on, let me see. You got. I can't see. Atreus it. for a one nine nine. I don't know. Y'all and U C C A S in here are wilding. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one, dude. I'm having fun on Twitter right now. So check this out. Uh, so we had uh, this guy right here. Uh, this is the managing editor of GameSpot. Uh, once again, asking great gamers to grow up. Wow. I quote tweeted said, once again, asking journalists to shut up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah! 
Uh, fucking cocksucker. Tell them. I am so tired of it. Uh, I am so tired of these. And uh, I love uh, Drago says, Jeremy is unwatchable. You're watching me right now, you fucking <laughs> retard. Anyway, you're not irrelevant enough, though. I just had to roast you really quick. Uh, but yes, uh, these clowns, they, they are in an all-out war against gamers now. They hate gamers. They despise them. They despise people speaking out. They are trying desperately to control the narrative right now, and we have got to let them know that they have absolutely no power. These, pla the these clowns are garbage, so I am sick and tired of them. Sick of it. I'm once again asking gamers to grow up. Like what, Bernie, That's a Bernie bro qu uh, tweet. Right. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. You work for GameSpot, bro. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What are you doing? Deadfly for a five dollars. You know, I'm a bit of a gamer myself. Jay drunk yeah. repio. Thank you. Fantastic, Mr. Knox for a fifty. Says uh, truly quality content. LOL. I'm in stitches. Thank you for the fifty. Uh, Lil Ramsey for a two dollars. Jay is fifty percent of the reason I'm here. Oh. Look at that. What's the other fifty? He, they didn't say. <laughs> Sideways stand for a five. I styled my hair like Ryan. Now random guys ask me what my sign is. <laughs> <laughs> Master Bader for a $2. Jay Zodiac is, let's talk games. <laughs> Tara Lynn for $5. Shut up and buy Yaira, you figs. I Tell did, man. I bet if I don't get that yeah. 10 graded on this run... I'm going to have to talk to the manager. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Disco Cobra for a 50. <laughs> um, nah, only witches. Almost the same. New, new agers and gays and dum-dums who want gum-gum have anything to do with astrology. Soon as they talk, just say, nope, I'm a Christian. I don't believe in gay stuff. Melanie knows what this is. <laughs> Tell I them to kick that. rocks. That is such a great answer. I will be using that. <laughs> Uh, jefe for a ten dollars. We need a Haiti meetup. They have good food. <laughs> they do have yeah, good we food. We would not survive. But... Yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys don't even know I speak it. I speak Creole too. So I know crazy. you would, Jay. But yeah, the rest of us wouldn't survive. I would feel very badly. Lovecraft Arms for a five dollars. Eric just watched the making of uh, making of video for the live action Yaira trailer. Really cool to see the behind the scenes stuff. Shout out. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Dave Chandler for a five. Jeremy, please make Let's Talk Games the G&G &G company motto. <laughs> Krista, do we have uh, do we have an open spot for emojis? Uh, if so, we got to get the Let's Talk Games. Or yeah, Gigantin for a 199. Uh, in quotes, you got any games on your phone? Jay, drunk for EPO. <laughs> um... Hey, guys, uh, all, all the guys out there, your new pickup line to the ladies. It's like, What's up, girl? Let's talk games. Let's talk games. <laughs> yeah. Does that are work, Mel? How are you doing? Let's talk well, games. Well, yeah. it, it could. It worked better than the video. Let's talk games and butter sticks. Come on. That could work. Gear Master Gear for $5. Jay, let's talk games. Which is better, hide and seek or spin the bottle? <clears throat> Me? Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Easy. Quatrina VR for a 199. Jay, let's talk games, unless you're in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, I, he's like, oh man, let's, don't, don't, say don't talk to me. You're in Dis a wheelchair. <laughs> Disco People in the chat are saying Rip is rethinking the Rip is Send with Acromatic <laughs> 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 Chronicles Green. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Disco Cobra for a 20 Jay says so many gay things He discriminates <laughs> wheelchair people And wants to talk about games on Twitter I bet, what it, I bet whenever that dude Sees that tweet he will say Wow that's the lamest thing I don't want to hang out with these people <laughs> uh, Big Black Ninja For a $5 <laughs> Jay let's talk oil Specifically Specifically, a lie. Um, a specifically, a lie. Which oil you would like me to use on you, big dog? I want to oil you up. <laughs> that took a good turn. Uh, thank yeah. you for the five. Uh, Atreus for a that five. That happened because me accidentally dropping the the in bomb on Cobra Cast because uh, apparently I struggle with the word ninja uh, yeah. because I'm <laughs> I said. I swear, I, I I don't say the word in traffic or 
day to day life or anything. It's the first time I've ever said it, guys. Okay, I don't I don't say that. I don't I just, say that when I'm driving. Never said that. Oh, I just realized that that super chat. You know, read specific ally, but it's specifically with a he just actually put a space <laughs> between it. Well, <laughs> don't put a fucking space in between it. Specific a lie. <laughs> don't fucking put a space in between. I'm gonna read it how it's fucking read. Just wait, like, you're gonna Ron, read, like Ron like Ron Burgundy. Wait, you say read it how it's read or read exactly. It how it's that's written. what I just fucking said. What he said. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said, and that's what I meant. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> He'll read anything you put on that. I will read anything you put in here. Well, <laughs> ah, fuck. I should not have said that. Uh, Atreus for a five. Holy shit, Jay. <laughs> right here. Once again, asking journalists to shut the fuck up. Chases. Hey, you should, you should just tweet less talk. <laughs> Bro. You gotta Twitter lean into it when you make a mistake, man. Twitter is wilding right now. <laughs> I can't even. He's oh, fucking a... uh, We got Maybe... the. Someone made the thumbnail. The 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 Haiti thumbnail. I put it in uh, private uh -oh. chat. Uh oh. All right, hang on. Uh, <laughs> all right. Atreus troll on Twitter, man. Holy shit. Atreus for another five. Not so doing. <laughs> Oh it's amazing. <laughs> Poor Beardo. Poor Beardo. It's everything we dreamed of. <laughs> Jacko fish. <laughs> there it is. That's your thumbnail. Perfect. There, Let's it'll, go. <laughs> all the views. You will get all the views not if you use way. that thumbnail. It's a not guarantee. We will never this hear from you way. again. <laughs> <laughs> This wow, is crazy, man. this is a yeah. crazy show tonight. Holy We're shit! Out of control, man. Yeah. Jeez. All right. Atreus for Oof. a five. If you think Russ is much better, then there's Coke in that butter. Oh, Damn. Man. Damn. Be Beardo secret literate racism for a five dollars. Hey Melanie, uh, use a Melanie Mac word that starts with the letter F that describes Jay, Jeremy, and Beardo. <clears throat> I, I can't right now. <laughs> Famous. Ram Famous. Uh, Lil Ramsey for a two dollars. The other fifty percent is everyone else. Let's go. Oh, okay, go. cool. Shout out, uh, Rhombosaurus. R Rhombosaurus for a one nine nine. Jay, did you have the long pig? Wait, did you have the long pig while in Haiti? Did you have the uh, long nah. pig? I, I ate a lot of Diri Blanc and uh, the what? Uh, it, it's a special gravy gravy with rice that's what, what we ate the whole time we were there okay mm. you don't want to eat like the pigs there they they the, they have the the pigs that are in haiti they use them in the trash dump so you don't really eat the pigs oh. over there oh yeah yeah so if someone <laughs> serves you pork you're like uh, I, don't, I don't want that so fear the tardo for two dollars hi remedy mac let's talk games lock it in yay <laughs> <laughs> thank you tardo <laughs> Eric Stratton for a seventeen seventy seven. I just uh, I just registered YouTube site uh, in quotes. Let Let's talk games. By the way, except for the fucked up feet bottoms, the rest of me is better is in better shape than Beardo. Oh wait a minute! They're telling me that Long Pig is human. Nah, I ain't eat none of that stuff over there. <laughs> oh my! Long Pig is man meat. I oh eat none no! Of that stuff over there. Hmm. Uh, uh the oh, Gilkman the Gilkman had a lot five dollars. Thank you, Thomas. Literally everything Jay says is oh this. Oh my god. I am never gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> no, I ain't making no money here. What's up? <laughs> Jeremy's talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. I don't know if I could read this from Anthony Garino. You can totally read uh, it. Just read it, Beardo. Uh guys. Anthony Garino for one nine nine. Uh, a little bit ago. Uh, oh, I, I don't have. Uh, I don't have. Oh, that. I don't know if yeah, I should I read, it. read that. I don't yeah, know if I, I should know. read that. Damn, know. even I was like, maybe you should back yeah, off of that yeah. one. Yeah, thank you for the one nine nine though, Anthony Greeno. Culper uh, for two dollars. Can oh, I have that? Good Lord, holy shit! Yeah. Oh, I'll pass on that. <laughs> trying I'll to get us, trying one. to get us kicked off the tubes. I will. Um, I will pass. I'll on make that a Rumble exclusive. So. All right, uh, some. Me, uh, all right, you read. All right, so Marcus Henry, uh, or no, sorry, you got the fear of the Tardos, right? So, did um, you get those? Uh, well, for shit. the 
Oh, Darth Racer says, "Will Jay be Yaira's love interest?" <laughs> nah, nah, I don't. I don't see that happening. <laughs> Maybe if he asks really? her to talk games. Talk games. Uh, let's talk games. Say, I'm a little. I'm just one taller than let, her. Though. Let's talk games. Yeah. Let's talk games. <laughs> uh, Fear the Tardo. Holy shit! Uh, we've got three parts. Jesus. Okay. I don't want it. You do those. That's fuck. That's that's your shit, man. Do the my the shit. Yeah. My shit. Good lord. All right. Uh, high remedy Mac. Peanut butter make tardo gassy. Wait. That not even good pickup line. Sorry, sorry, remedy Mac. Jay say that line work, but tardo <laughs> press in to doubt. Lock it in. Yay. <laughs> tardo Fear for the a 10. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> high remedy Mac. Nice hair. Tardo Thank likes you. see crumpled next <laughs> next to bed. Wait, that not work for pickup line. Sorry, remedy. Tardo <laughs> promise do better next time. Lock it in. Yay. <laughs> Tardo for ten. Hi, remedy Mac. Have this is fucked up. This is fucked. Uh, have mirror in pants? Question mark. Cause see Tardo in pocket. Wait, Tardo. <laughs> Tardo got pocket and pants mixed up. Ruin that pickup line too, spelled T-W-O. Sorry, Remedy Mac. Lock it in. Yay. Lock it in. Yay. Glad you got your 30 fucking dollars Woo! worth. You piece of uh, shit, Tardo. Mark, Mark Henry, what happened to Rolo? Uh, nothing. Rolo's just, Rolo, obviously, he's talked about it a little bit on his channel, but he has some life changes go on, and, you know, you'll see Rolo back in these parts. So, shout out to play, the Puerto uh, Rican Pistolero. We play uh, Ready or Not occasionally. We might maybe this later this week or next week. We might play. Yeah, I asked him a couple weeks ago if he had time to hop on Fortnite with me, but he he didn't at that particular time. He didn't have uh, time. So he mostly just plays it. I mostly just kill innocent civilians as a police officer. It's a good time. So, (laughs) yep. Eric Eric Gidwall or Guidewall. Guidewall. uh, Guidewall. Guidewall. Five gifted memberships. Let's go. Shout out. Thank you for the five gifted. Uh, Zypher for a uh, nine months. Rippa. Where's that sick black with yellow trim? Rippaverse hat. Uh, I got the I want it all plus graded. Can't wait to read it. I'm excited what you were doing. Appreciate that, man. Uh, I haven't approved the prototype yet. Haven't haven't quite quite yet. A lot of people are asking for it, though. Uh, Anthony Buck for 12 months. What's good about this live action trailer is that it tries to sell the comic the, um, that is missing in modern live action adaptations. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's why we made it specifically to um, give context to the to the comic and give people people stoked. That's specifically what I it's was for. genuinely hyped. I after I woke up that morning, I was already thinking, oh, yeah, Yaira is supposed to drop today. And I, and I get on Twitter and that's like the first thing I see. <laughs> I was like live action video. I was excited. Yeah. I loved it. I really yeah. did love it. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Jet Spitzer for eight months. Originally, I felt a little off from the trailer, but the more I see it, the more it grows on me. Got Yaira, and I can't wait for it to arrive. Appreciate that. Thank you. Let's go. Um, let's see here. Jose Taco for nine months. Melanie sent you a Twitter post on the pre-order of Godzilla figure, the same 3D model that was used in the film ends tomorrow. Also, Mike, Helldivers 2 tonight? Question mark. Oh, that's the uh Maybe. what is I'm it called? Sure Super yet. Super Seven or something seven. I I already pre-ordered in January the the minus color version of that. So it's like the black and white. So cool. The dude, Super Seven, like they're so fucking proud of their stuff. <laughs> like, cause they have a lot of GI Joe stuff, and it's so expensive, but it's cool. It's good stuff. Uh, Vic Whiplash for seven months. Eric or Jay? Any chance Gina's getting involved? What, like Rip Sin? I haven't, I haven't had those discussions with him. No comment. Um, Let's talk NDA, games. NDA, just NDA. Let's talk games. Let's talk games. She, Let's talk games. I will say this: like there was an announcement today, and uh, she didn't she didn't post it on Twitter, but um, Deadline reported it that she got a brand. She introduced a brand new management team that has like shows and, and other projects that are in the works. So for her, she's very excited about that. Uh, she did post it on her Instagram, and uh, she's she feels like she's getting a fresh start with these people. So she is very, very. She tweeted this morning about uh, Rip Ascend and the Rip Averse. She's like, she yeah. when we talked on the phone, 
because we have a uh, we're we're heading to Richmond, Virginia this weekend for another con where she is expected to. Um, they they wanted her to go another day, but she's not because like they her pre sales are really uh, going crazy over there, and um, she just was like so happy and proud to see people creating and what is happening with Eric July. She was just like, I can't, she's like, she said the same thing. I think she said in her tweet too. She's like, the energy is just amazing to see people excited about stuff. So that's, uh, you know, people are feeling it, man. They're feeling yeah. excitement again about something that they want to get behind. And that, that, I think that's something that a lot of us haven't felt in a long time. Even like when it, when it's movies, books or whatever, we're kind of like, yeah, I guess I'll review it, but we're not excited. But this was, you know, th this was an exciting event and I hope, you know, it keeps going. And even though I'm with the rip ascend, but I know that I know there's tons of people that reached out to Eric about uh, being a part of that as well. So I, I the future looks good with all that stuff. It really does. It looks it looks really good with all that stuff. And people are going to discover um, new artists and new uh you know, new characters and new book series that aren't necessarily with the Ripiverse. And Rick. it's going to be exciting to see people fall in love and people gain a, uh, a fan base of what they're creating. And it, and it's awesome. I, what, when I will say this at when the, when Eric retweeted that Rip Ascend that, that Acromatic Chronicles green was going to be a part of it. My DMS and my email just exploded, like exploded with people wanting blue. My first book, and they were just like, hey, where can we get the first book? Because we don't want to buy the second one if we don't have the first one. So I just said, we're going to sell the first one and the second one together. So for those people that didn't get a chance to get the first one. So already it's having a pretty, pretty positive impact, at least at least for what I'm at least for what I'm doing. So that it's pretty awesome. Very exciting. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout out. yeah. Mo Monty for 30 months. Finally got to order my g, &G Meta PC. Looking forward to doing some gaming with it when it arrives. Hail to Geek and Gamers. Mo, and it's about time, Mo. Mo would come in our member games and he would log out because his computer sucked. So, good call, Mo. Shout yeah. out to Mo. Good job. HTK yeah. bass player for nine months. Release the Eric sketch. Let's get that $4 million. $4 million, man. You got a long way to go. <laughs> I'll be right back. Jay, don't fuck it up. Greedo Gaming for nine months. Yeah. While I have criticisms about the trailer, I absolutely love the characters and world in the Ripperverse. One day, it'll be bigger than Marvel. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. We're going to talk about having a ways to go. Yeah, well, I'll uh, take it, though. Appreciate it. Like, I know I'm... I'm sorry, Beard. I know you're trying to read Super no, you're good. But, like, bro, you got, you, everybody's got to start somewhere. And the thing is, like, you know, it's one thing if Rip came out here and he's like, yo, I'm, I'm about to, like make my own movie and fuck everybody that says anything. He, he straight up said, we want your criticism. We want to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Like, cause you got to grow, but like, you got to start somewhere. And most of the people that are criticizing haven't done anything. <laughs> like they haven't, they, they haven't made any movies or done any of that stuff. And you know, like, I don't know, man, it, it's, it's, it takes a lot to do this stuff. And people are like, well, you're using money and, and you're doing all this stuff. But like the fans are supporting this stuff cause yeah. they want it. We're all hungry for new stuff. Well, yeah. we're, exactly. We're... People wouldn't continue to be, to purchase these if they weren't good. And yeah. four successful campaigns already. You know, the first time it's a, let's see what this is about. After that, you've got loyal customers for a reason. Yeah. 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 No, look, look uh, it, it's, we're in a, we're in such a good spot. The fact that we have these customers that are enthusiastic and it's an event, you know, um, anytime we release something, it's an event. You're going to have people on either side of the, of, of whatever aisles that are going to, uh, feel some kind of way about it. But, you know, for me, that that's what it's about. Um, you know, this trailer was fun. It was a great experience. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, I feel great about it. Definitely considering, you know, what we pay for. I was talking about this earlier today, like my, our forklift costs more than what I paid to what we paid to fucking do that, you know? So I'm, I'm very impressed with the team in that we were able to, to do that all in one day uh, on that budget to specifically sell, um, you know, the comic and just let people know what our capabilities are. Cause yeah, I would love to, and I mentioned this in the behind the scenes, I would love to get to a point to where, you know, we, we can produce something, including the animations with the intent to sell. Right. Like yeah. with it like that, like as in like it's a product like our our, our comics. But we're not there yet. Uh, but, you know, it's seeing like Isom 2's trailer, Alpha Course trailer, this trailer. You get to see kind of what our capabilities are 
um, when we entertain the idea, though, those are made specifically to sell the comic. You know, um, just think about what we could do if we were making something to sell that actual video uh, product, whether it be a movie or a short film or whatever, man. So yep. it just gets the mind jogging and it's just so fun. So fun right now for me. Mm-hmm. No, the fact that it was shot in one day is actually like that's mm-hmm. it's actually that hard yeah that to do. that actually like I mean you know I I, I I my criticism was I just didn't think the accent was great that was you know like but that's not even but like everything else like I was looking at like from a production standpoint I was like now it's like I already was somewhat impressed with the production standpoint before knowing the specifics now I'm like well fuck it's like. It's like drunk 3PO like succeeding in life. You're like, man, that's impressive that he's made it this far. You know, no, I'm kidding. No, I love you. But no, but that's the, the fact that it was shot in one day is fucking impressive as hell, actually. So that's yeah. that takes it to a whole nother level. So I know you released kind of a behind the scenes uh video, I think. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, we released it. it okay. Yeah, we released it uh, right before the uh we started streaming. It gives everybody uh kind of you get to show kind of some of the process and our experience with it. So, uh, yeah, that was part of uh, one of our, like, I think our first benchmarks. That was part of that. So we finally got that release. Mm-hmm. But don't anybody say I had a criticism. Let's just, uh, I pray. It's it's the greatest thing at, since I, Lord of the Rings. It This might be better than The Return of the King. Uh, <laughs> just let's go with that narrative because we, we've never, I've never said a mean word to Eric. We He's never said anything to me. We're just like, hi, yeah. nice to see you. Yeah, Doing that's a great it. Job, you know, like it's, it's never, no. Nah. Yeah. Fucking, Gay. Anyway, <laughs> multi multi for seven months. Rip reverse for the undisputed win. One nine nine forever. Shout Let's out. Uh, member. Uh, it just says member for nine months. One nine nine. Thank you, member. Uh, Jesus Davila gifted a Geeks and Gamers membership. Thank you. Risk it for the biscuit for one month. Hail Geeks and Gamers. Hail Rip reverse. Hail independent creation. Hail the one nine nine. No, Cerberus. I didn't get a birthday month like Rip. Uh, I mean, like oh, Beardo. Sure, fu- like like Beardo and, your and Jay. Texts. Like Beardo. Oh, because I don't texts. get a month like like Beardo and Jay. Like they they like. Oh, it's my pre-birthday stream, guys. It was and then, my. And then the, after the I birthday went from stream. My- the you day before my birthday, that, over midnight. I went from midnight into my birthday. Stream. You're like, then I'm doing a post birthday stream. Hey, it's my post it was, birthday stream. I'm like, it was high tea. Jay's birthday happened to land on a high tea Thursday. Uh, I just had people so. send me money. I was just like, yeah, it's my birthday. Send me money. And people did. So that was cool. I always stream on my birthday. Well, you're I'm a girl, like, so that makes sense. <laughs> that is yeah. true. I didn't. I, I, I was like, I'm going to enjoy my fucking birthday, not be on the <laughs> internet today. So. <laughs> Ozzy Dad Andrew became a member. Thank you, Ozzy Dad Andrew. Uh, War Machine gifted five memberships. Mike Hill for 36 months ordered Yara number one poster t-shirt. Uh, a poster t-shirt and Rip Reverse magazine. Can't wait to get it all in the mail. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out. Uh, Teresa Young for 11 months. Congrats to Ripa. Awesome trailer. Can't wait to watch all of you. Uh, love all of you guys. Thank you. Appreciate uh, we that. We love you too. Jimmy Riggs Halo for one month. Uh, <laughs> Hail to- so slow. <laughs> <laughs> he did so. I wanted to make slow. sure. That's right. Crystal's birthday. Yep. Yep. Hail to all of you. Keep up the good work. Did you see the FBI and the DOJ teaming up with Discord and other gaming companies? Yep, sure did. I did. I did. Yep. And again, that's uh, look. You know, Eric's kind of been a trailblazer from like the standpoint of creating his own site for you know doing what he's doing, and and that's kind of one of the things that it's inspired me to kind of like go back to our website and try to really build that community element out because. I love having me a Discord. I love being on YouTube and on all these places. Um, but you got to have your own site. You got to have yes. your own platform. You just have to. You have yeah. to. Um, it's it's wild. And I've told my team, you know, like from a security element, and we we do we we we're very secure on our website, and and I have some really good guys on there. But it's just like, man, we just got to look out for it because people are going to be gunning for all of us in terms of like trying to hurt our sites and, and all that shit. Uh, you guys saw what Ripple went through just yesterday. Yeah. And uh, yeah, DDoS is out the, out the mind. Bot, bots fucking trying to crash some shit. Yeah, it was crazy yesterday. Mm-hmm. The hack, hack, they tried to hack the, <clears throat> hack the uh, reverse YouTube. Excuse me. Twitter was down uh, for, for a while there, like the entire day almost. But it was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fantastic Mr. Knox for... Tw- 
Go ahead, Beardo. All right, Fucking fantastic, read. Mr. Knox, for 25 months. I will. Hail to tonight's <laughs> main event and chat. Congrats to Ripa for his one million on Yaira number one. SBI is Ash Hor. Uh, Kimmel is Soy. Oscars is dead. Yay, Toho, for winning uh, visual effects. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, Andrew, for a four months, bring the Disney giant Dan. Project Eggroll for 13 months. Iarchaeus is correct. I'm Chinese. Thank you, Eggroll. All right. Um, Magadonian for a four months. Mr. Beast, interestingly enough, is managed by a firm owned by Disney. He's just a modem Disney shows on YouTube. I mean, he he did debunk uh, one of those stories. Look, man, I, I think Mr. Beast is just, um, I, again, this is a speculation on my part. I don't think Mr. Beast is a bought and paid for personality. I think that he is a internet genius, because he is, and he's also a uh, advertiser's dream. And as he has grown with his kind of viral stuff that he came up with, like just saying like Logan Paul's name, like for whatever it was, 24 straight hours, some retarded video that got him 20 million views. You know what I mean? And all the dumb stuff that he did, because let's be real. Like uh, Jimmy is not an entertaining person. He's not some guy that can just, he's not PewDiePie. PewDiePie mm -hmm. is a very charismatic, entertaining person that can just sit there and laugh at memes and shit like that. Yep. Jimmy is, and he's already said this, like he has to come up with ideas, you know, and he is, he's an internet genius. And so I think that it just became a mixture of he did all this viral stuff and he was an advertiser's dream. And then YouTube started working with him after he got to be so big. And now he's wherever he goes, he's going to get preferential treatment. He's, a, he's, he's operating on the Jordan rules now for the sports fans out there. Like mm -hmm. he's operating in Jordan rules now. He goes on Twitter and he says, oh, look how much money I made on Twitter. Motherfucker, ain't nobody making that type of money on Twitter except for you because you're Mr. Beast and you're getting preferential treatment everywhere you go. That's my theory on it. But I personally find him, I don't think he's an entertaining person at all, actually. But he's, his ideas are great. Yeah. Eric K for 31 months. Eric Stratton, on behalf of everyone in chat and Geeks and Gamers, we apologize for Jay. <laughs> Objectively, a cat for 13 months. Here I come, a mega idol. All eyes on me, no eyes on you. If you know, you know. I don't know, but thank you for the 13 months. Uh, Flag Ninja for 21 months. Jay eats man meat confirmed. Yeah, nah, nah. Long pig. Take her for five. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Like, <laughs> no fucking chill. All right. Uh, At least you brought her a rose, man. Bro, the, the way he's looking down, too, is so suggestive. Yeah, I know, like, I know. I feel like we need an edit of The Last of Us 2 in that infamous scene. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm saying no. let's talk. Oh, no. Oh, we... oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Me on my team oh, no. here. What are you oh, doing? No. <laughs> Take her for $5. <laughs> Take it for five. The guy making the Haiti video should cut in some gameplay of the opening area in Resident Evil 5. Imagine the people who will think it's real. That's very true. Port-au-Prince is a, is a crazy place, man. Yeah. Um, Anthony Garino for a 199 says, Trump will be reinstated. The election is not happening. Um, well, I mean, I just got a tweet from Benny Johnson says, breaking Donald Trump officially becomes the GOP nominee for president. So there really? you go. There you go. Holy Dave shit. Chandler for five dollars. At least the Tiger King could blame his problems on his boyfriends and ill-timed tornado. Jay's only problem is Jay. <laughs> Greedo Gaming for a one nine nine. Uh, in quotes, let's talk games. Jay twenty twenty four. Dude, all the, these journalists are fucking so mad right now. Paul Tassi. Well, this will certainly make things worse. <laughs> oh no. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, Elon is the game changer. Okay, he is the yep. he's the guy that turns the needle. It's yep. Elon Musk. It, he is the guy, no doubt about it. Um, it, he, in a lot of ways, Elon drives them crazier than Trump does in a lot of ways. Yep. Um, it's fantastic. Because, 
because he was somebody that they thought was on their side and he was like no you guys are fucking crazy and mm -hmm. i have the influence to be you can't you can't cancel him you can't take away like he has too much money and too much influence and too many things going on to stop him and then he stole one of your weapons like he stole twitter from you guys bro you the know? game is changing look we even got we even got conservative right wingers now um sweet baby stink jack Posobiec. <laughs> like dude this is taking off bro this is yeah. i'm telling you guys if you're a content creator talk about this shit all right yeah, mm -hmm. um no. you think tassie was being sarcastic i don't know I mean, it, it's hard to tell because sometimes paul tassie has like really like he's got some he seems like he's got a level head and other times he has weird takes so it's really hard to tell Shick for four months hi is the gng content house ending question mark uh yes it is um and we've been here for about 15 months and it's been really awesome and um it's not ending for bad reasons it's just i have a family i've got to get back home um and you know we, we've all we've all been here for so long and obviously i've been back and forth i i do a lot of traveling which has i mean we're talking like six seven hour drives you know from pensacola to orlando i'm i'm driving all the time and that is starting to like weigh down on me because it's like it's just, i love driving but I would rather be making content or focusing on stuff. Um, and um, financially, uh, this place has cost a, an unbelievable amount of money. Um, I'll probably be a little more transparent with that after the fact. And I'll probably be a little more transparent about what exactly where we are and things. But um, yeah, so but we have stuff in Orlando that we are uh really good opportunities in orlando and you know krista will be here in orlando and uh you know obviously some more of the members of the team are here in orlando and so everything's going to be fine from that perspective but in terms of just what we have going on like the content house um that element will not be and i'll be back in pensacola um because uh, i need to be back home and i feel really bad that um I, I know it's just me beating myself up, but you know, my dog passed away, uh, you know, oh, yeah. not too long ago. And I kind of haven't been there as much. Uh, and I kind of kicked myself in, in my own ass for not being there. He's been puppy face was given uh, six months to live. Like, and he, he made it like almost three years. So he, he, you know, so we were expecting that, but it still, it sucks to miss any time like that. So, but um, you know, family's most important thing. Business is good. G and G is good. Everything is rocking and rolling, and I appreciate everybody here in Orlando that's been supportive of what we're doing. Um, it's been a hell of a ride, and I appreciate all of you in the audience for allowing us to do this. Because without your support, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't have lasted but a few months, and I would have been like, "Okay, it's just too expensive. I got to go." Um, but uh, thank you guys so much. Um, Ripper, you got to bounce soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm like. Bahamas no, it's fine, man. You're now. a millionaire now. So uh, <laughs> million dollars. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh man, my apologies on that. Nah, it's it's been a crazy. I haven't slept hardly fucking at all. If I'm gonna be completely honest, and I, I never, you. I never really do on these releases. It's just such a um. Mine's going a time. mile. Yeah, your miles. Mine's probably going a mile, a uh, million it's miles an hour. So too. It's so crazy, man. And you know, we want to keep up the momentum. We want to keep working and that's you know duty calls a call so yeah it, it's been a great i mean yeah we're on day two it's been a great two days first uh couple of days for uh this campaign man i appreciate everybody that's bought into it i thank you guys so much man appreciate uh everybody that's given us a uh you know a chance to entertain you uh people that have been here for uh, forever and people that have uh, just got on maybe with the ira campaign i appreciate y'all and thank you all so much uh, for making this yet another uh, massive success. And, yeah, we just want to keep keep delivering, keep giving you guys what you want. Um, and is that true, yeah, man, Eric? It's important. Is that uh, true? Too important. Well, yeah, that is Viper Chief. <laughs> that's, that's very true. That is a fact. Viper Chief, statement. greatest day of his life. He got, a, he got he uh, highlighted. Why do, we, why do we give him attention? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> finally <laughs> talked about him. Why yeah, do we give him Chief. attention? <laughs> true, brother. True. Yeah. What are we doing? Sure. <laughs> but uh yeah rip up proud of you bro whatever you, you need man. uh mm -hmm. it's awesome man i can't wait to see what you guys are going to oh, yeah. do moving forward it's been fantastic to see and shout out to uh all the fans and the supporters uh you guys made this happen and you're going to continue to make it happen and uh we work for you and that's it that's it all day you know? long so, appreciate y'all man thank y'all right, so much take it easy bro all right bro see you all right bye. Hey, um uh,
Melanie, you good? I don't want to keep you much longer if you don't. Uh, you know. I probably need to get going too. I okay, yeah, we're gonna some. yeah we're gonna wrap this up and then we're playing Fortnite after. So, um, sure. Melanie Mac, where can they find you? All right, you guys can find me on X, YouTube. Uh, well, those at Melanie Mac, my gaming streams are at Melanie Mac, and then also on YouTube, uh, Melanie Mac Go Boom and Bible Time with Melanie Mac. There we go. Awesome having you here, Melanie. Um, Thank we appreciate you. you. You guys go follow her wherever uh, she's at and wherever, whatever socials you're on. I'm sure most of you already are, but uh, have a good night, Melanie. And uh, tell Craig to definitely start Signs and Salads podcast, I guess. Okay, so. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Um, All right. We, we just we just got a little bit. I just want to power through. X Station Playbox and Switcheroo for a five dollars. When and where is the Richmond can uh, Richmond Con? I'll be there. Um, uh, let's see. I'll go real quick. I think I had it pulled up. Uh, Richmond Con is in Richmond. Good uh, job, Jay. Two, wow. days Boy. Yeah. two days. Two days from now it starts. Uh, go to GalaxyCon.com to the Richmond part and. Yeah, uh, you, you can laugh at me all you want because I'm going there. I'm gonna hang out with. Uh, I'm already working it out. Cool. I'm I'm gonna hang out with. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> you just keep scrolling. I'm like, where's it going? I know. I, I'm trying to go quick because there's like power through talk. Oh, there's He's Gina like, well, right there. You guys suck because I'm gonna be hanging out with. Oh fuck, where did they go? Come I screwed on. up. I screwed up. Hold on. It's you, yeah. Anytime, right here. Man. Right here. Big. Papa Pump. <laughs> Scott Steiner is going to be there. So, oh, shit. Uh, Mike, I'll get Rikishi's autograph for you. I think you like That's him. Yeah. Hey, Jay, I, I already know what you, if you, when you see Scott Steiner, walk up to him and go, let's talk games. Yeah. <laughs> you probably yeah, punch me dead in the face, man. Yeah. I don't know. Like, Those guys are scary. Yeah. Mm. Rick Flair uh, be there. I got to avoid him from last time. <laughs> I don't want him to see me again. <laughs> oh, CJ shit. for two dollars. Jay, any chance you hosting an Oregon meetup? Uh, um, people have been asking me about that. Like, if I go to um, if I go to the Goonies house, maybe because I know I have to like I have to fly into Portland and it's an hour drive to Astoria, and then because they don't have any airports nearby. But I don't know. We'll see if if uh, if people in Portland like geeks and gamers and stuff like that. Uh, I always love doing those things. So even if it's just me and a couple people, so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, Ira Brownridge for five dollars. The uh, the more Ripiverse grows, the more I appreciate Isom. Thank you for the five. Slain Hope for two dollars. Eric Eric's got what modern day creators don't heart. Uh, CJ for ten months. Geeks and gamers is better than Mr. Beast. I agree. Isaiah Garcia for two dollars. Sweet Baby Inc. CEO posted a response on his LinkedIn. Old Renaissance nerd for twenty dollars. Uh, one wish me luck. Applied for photo credentials for Indy Car Race in June. You guys must see a race and Road America just once. Two, Jeremy, where can I contact you about sending a couple items? And three, thank you, Jay. A nine point uh, nine point eight ISOM number two. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I was able to get some of those and give away to my channel members. So if you're a channel member of Drunk Three PO, we give away a lot of cool stuff over there. Uh, yeah, so. you can sh uh, Jeremy at GeeksandGamers.com. You shoot me an email. Uh, Daniel Moore for four months. Looking forward to MegaCon 2025 199. By the way, did you get the Galaxy's Edge books in the mail? Question mark. Talking to me? Uh, yeah. Galaxy's Edge books? Did you sure. get the Galaxy's Edge books in the mail from Daniel I, Moore? I got a lot of stuff in my P.O. box last time. I don't recall Galaxy's Edge books. Holy shit. We got a lot still to go. Um, maybe, maybe you should power the fuck through. Yeah, I'm trying. Dave the Elite for 25. Read. Question for Ripa. Fuck. When, uh, when are we getting a life-size Gyra and Blood Ruth body pillows, bro? Asking for oh, a friend. No. Uh, PJH for five. Uh, success equals retardation. That explains geeks and gamers in a nutshell. <laughs> Chris Halter. Yeah, there you go. Chris Halter for a 20. Love the show, boys. Take your Jordans to Portland. I'm taking them to Richmond, brother. There we go. Uh, Vault 95 Survivor for a dollar. Jeremy, how's your social battery doing tonight? 
Um, pretty good. It has been a pretty good night. It's been a pretty good night. PHJ or PJH for a dollar. Jay oh. knows everyone. He's the new Kevin Bacon. Seven degrees of Jay. <laughs> Vault 95 survivor, uh, survivor for a dollar. Survivor. Ripa. Ripa's not here. Ripa's Ripa not left. here. I know. Beardo, Ripa. Ripa left. I was, Mike. He's gone. Me. He left. Me. He's gone. Uh, I was excited as fuck this morning. 11 a.m. Eastern to launch yesterday and this morning at 10.59 was at 998,000. Hit refresh at 11 a.m. and boom, $1 million. Perfect 24 hours. Ripa is comic takeover. Thank you. Sean Nagrinol for a $5. Jay always shouting me out, so I got I to gotta say, you're looking great, man. Keep up the good work. There you go, Jay. Yeah. Ryan's gay hair for a dollar. Please tell him to finally cut me. Please. I don't want to be gay anymore. Uh, Vault 95 Survivor for a dollar. Jay, where did you spend most of your time in Haiti after the earthquake? I was in I was in Grand Guave removing destroyed buildings. Uh, I was in Port-au-Prince, but I spent most of my time in a place called Carrefour. And uh, we had like two schools and uh, some of the uh, two schools that we finished. And then like a clinic and stuff that we did. And then I spent some time in St. Mark and uh, Jack Mel. So we went down to the further south. So uh, driving the short bus. <laughs> Sean Sora for a dollar. Jay, let's talk games. Not just talk games, but read games, cook game, sleep game, make game, camp game, burn game, freeze game, kill game, marry game, eat game, crush game, fight game, ding game, except not play game. Is that for me? Yeah, it was for a fucking dollar. Read it John one more Doe time. for a buck. Ripa disappointed. Can you read it one that... more time. Oh, we didn't hear it all. I'm good. Yeah. John Doe for a dollar. <laughs> Ripa disappointed that Yaira Winter Beanie isn't available. Um, that law for 16 months. Uh, what's the number one rule in gaming? If you kill someone, they're a bitch. If someone kills you, they're a bitch. Yeah, Jamie exactly. Cobra on October 17th, 2022. Wow, that's wait. I said it on oh two thousand one two. Okay, I thought you meant yeah. twenty seventeen, but I I'm probably sure law. I said it back then too. Greedo Gaming for a dollar ninety nine. So Jay, what happened with Ric Flair? Uh, oh man, you tell that on the gaming stream. Are you playing games tonight with us, Jay? Yeah, I'm setting up. Okay, the room. You, you can you can talk about it on your Fortnite on our Fortnite stream. Fear the Tardo for five dollars. Thanks, Jay. Tardo not know Richmond Con in Richmond. Jay, smartest guy. Tardo no. Tardo love Jay. Lock it in, Jay. Thank you. Uh, marksman. Marksman for a $20. Uh, two $20. Total of 40 Part one and part two. Uh, Ripa, you asked me where Sweet Baby and others get their money on side scrollers. Uh, short Fat Otaku did amazing breakdown of Gamergate. He found that Zoe Quinn's ex, who she got... Uh, who. Yeah, she got deleted uh, herself, made millions on his game night in the woods. Uh, part two, he had a sister, sister who took the money she inherited and used that money to start up most of these DI firms in gaming. Literally, all these firms were like SB, um, were founded with that dead man's money who they, um, uh, yep, and then uh, let that sink in. Pure disgusting. Um, what? Fear the grandma. Man, that last super chat was rough. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, I'm just fucking reading, man. This is not okay. Uh, fear the grandma for three dollars. Hi, Jeremiah. Thanks for hiring my grandson. <laughs> fear door. Fear door. Fear door. Thempolis Beardo Mayor the third. Oh my God. Fear the Beardo for short. I know he isn't that bright. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> but he means well. Holy <laughs> shit, bro. I'm going to knit a quilt as a thanks. Lock it in. Ooh. Lock it in, dearie. Where's the send button? <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Oh, oh, no! Oh, <laughs> no! Thank, thanks, Grandma, for the $3. Um, here's a knock on with a series of fucking $3. There it's it a four, It's a four-parter. Yep. It's a four-parter. Uh, hi, guys. I know we try to avoid politics here, but I can't keep quiet about this. Our borders are wide open, and now we may have well-known ISIS terrorists in the country. The infamous dirty bomber who's been far farting was cited 
Um, in order to find who's been farting, ICE agents are tracking him by smell. If you know who's been farting, please contact authorities. Meanwhile, his partner, I Sheet Me Drawers, was sighted near Arizona. He, he got away, but left pretty. skid marks at the scene of the crime. It's only a matter of time before you suck me deek uh, appears. Hell, uh, he'll no uh, he'll no doubt bring his twin cousin. <laughs> you lick me dick, and you lick me dick, uh, and you lick me dick. What? what? All right. Hopefully, ISIS number two. I've got a poopy butt. <laughs> never shows up. <laughs> DHS. DHS will have to call a code brown if that happens. Sorry to be so serious. I know we try to have fun here and keep things light, but I couldn't help myself. No one wants no one wants to try to live their life and still have to worry about who's been farting. Good night and God bless. <sighs> um, we got more. Vault 95 survivor for a dollar. Beardo, what are you doing? Stop fucking around and power through. Yeah, fuck you. Eric K for a dollar. Uh, J uh, uh, Rick Rikishi. It's still <laughs> wrestling in WWE under the name <sighs> Nia Jax. Uh, oh. Damn! <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. shit! Who's Nia Jax? It's just a very big... Uh, a biggin. Lady. She's a biggin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, X-Wing for $20. My boys, Mike and Beardo and Jay on a Geeks and Gamers stream? Let's go! We've been part of this for like years now. Yeah, it's, it's only been you know a minute. Uh, uh, man, S Switzerland and play it for a dollar uh, over on Rumble. Beardo, I like you. I don't really know why, but you suck more at reading English than me, and that tells a fucking lot. Gracious, <laughs> bro. Thank you for the dollar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dirty water for two dollars. TikTok bans a prosecutor to the ban of Twitter. Okay. Uh, and listen, uh we should be all fucking caught up yeah you, you, you you're in good company on the super chat reading Thank so you. oh yeah because uh, you got uh jay uh gary uh i've seen star wars theory getting fucking annihilated from his chat from the way he reads super chats um brutal uh craig i think craig's terrible at it too isn't he yeah he's he, he gets yeah really bad ones. and of course i'm 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 not good at all so only one that's good is flash when he's drunk yeah ryan's pretty <laughs> so, decent well he's gay i don't count him so um but uh don't all right count the gays yeah we... <laughs> all right thank you guys we appreciate it uh we are going to be playing Fortnite. uh it's going to be me Ew. jay beardo and i think krista um so we'll have some fun with that uh so i really appreciate all of you this has been a great night a great stream mike where, they get, where can they find you uh yeah i've been over on kick hit 400 uh followers on there not too long ago having a blast playing hell divers over there um if you check me out go to epicverse.tv check me out over there and then uh thursday 1 p.m um about the same time of high tea go check out geeks and gamers tabletop watch both at the same time it's a good time. There we go. Drunk 3PO. I'll be live on Drunk 3PO's basement playing f Fortnite. Good man. Good man. Um, and I will be live on Kick and YouTube. D Day Cobra 199 on YouTube and on Kick. Uh, so um, on my D Day Cobra channel. So one Beardo. last super chat from my man, X Wing, $5. This is for you, Beardo. You read super chats like you pick football teams. Take oh. that shit off your wall, Beardo. Hey, you watch your fucking mouth next oh. week, huh? Because the Giants <laughs> suck. Oh he's my god! He's a 49ers fan, so he's he's a he's he's dealing with it. He's dealing with it. Dude, he was so hyped last season for the Giants. He was so hyped, and they got fucking annihilated in that first game. Bro. I'm a fucking Lions dude, fan, it, and dude, I had a good that, time. That was that was the catalyst of hey. the the entire season. Did you hear? Did you hear what Nick Saban said today? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, dude, he's he's he left because of the NIL, one thousand mm. percent. So mm, he hundred percent left, and he said like he said basically like I've been I've been developing young men to become you know grown adults and teaching them the values, and he goes. 
And now suddenly every conversation is like, how much am I getting paid? How much am I getting paid? That's all they care about now. Oh, He's like, you shit. can't even develop. You can't even develop young players anymore. You can't even develop, you know, anything. It's like all they care about is money, money, money. And if you're not going to give me money, I'm going to go somewhere else. That's why I left. It's 100% only left. So anyway, with that said, this will raid the other stream. So we do appreciate you guys. Um, awesome night. Thank you for the memes. Thank you for the laughs. Beardo, where can they find you? Yeah, I'll be live streaming Fortnite on my uh, Fear the Beardo YouTube, Fear the Beardo Kick, Fear the Beardo on all social media. They're all public. So if follow me there. And uh, I am. I really do like this new season. Uh, I really do. It, it's pretty fun. We played uh, it one night. It was all right. I liked it. I liked it. Was it was all right. So um but other than that thank you guys we love you we appreciate you uh and we will see you tomorrow for geeks and gamers daily yeah yeah and other than that talk to all of you guys later bye everyone let's let's talk games